Send it to me as soon as you're able, uh, Heather. I'm typing right now. Okay. I am going to quickly link this around. The final first. That's perfect. Good job, Tao. Sorry, hold on. Title setting up. Of May. Good job, May. Uh, Tal, have you updated the slideshow with the new stuff? Um, I'm never sure, like, what Alex actually does and does not want me to put. Go ahead and ask her. Mm, is she busy? Not now. Well, I don't- uh, yeah, she's busy now, but later. She's kind of busy. She's gonna- she's getting dragged to her aunt's house. Yeah. What so, happened? that's why she had to cancel last second. Yeah, I'm just not gonna update this thing right now, so. It always sucks being dragged away to, you know, a haystack, or whatever mm. you call those, uh, antils. Ha ha ha. They get in everywhere and stuff. Where'd the music stop? All right. So, and as always, all of you are in the Tantalium. Is there anything anyone wanted to do before session starts? Oh, now you ask us. No, I have nothing I want to do before the session starts, Dylan. Sounds perfect, Heather. And it also sounds like no one has anything they want to do before the session starts. Which yeah. means that you all feel a familiar rumbling in your bones as you are drawn into the white tears domain. As always, the fat god of laziness is lounging on his shimmy. Besides him stands the ever loyal but incompetent most of the time Krieger. He's wearing his Valentin Dolk costume, which means that right now he's wearing a hat, has white hair with a braid, is wearing an eye patch, and is wearing little fake elf ears. That's racist. Um, he gives all of you a friendly smile and wave as you come in, and launches into his explanation of your mission today. So, we've uh, got a merchant, we've got a cook, we've got someone handling the sewage, we have a lot of things that the Tantalium needs, right? But we have one glaring thing that makes it really hard for me to get you guys weapons and armor, and makes the price on them be, well, pretty expensive. And after hearing a hell of a lot of complaints on my prices from less business-minded people, and uh, he stares at Arya. Oh, she does not look happy at that. <laughs> she glared <laughs> back. <laughs> he, uh, he says, we're sending you all to get a blacksmith. And not just any not just any blacksmith either. It is the one of the daughters of a very famous blacksmith that you were tasked previously to retrieve. But somebody apparently stares at Rinder. Fuck stares that up. Stares at stares at Krieger. Stares at Tessiarius out in the fucking distance. Stares at Small. <laughs> stares at random sheep. Everyone just starts staring at each other, I guess. Zeris looks in the mirror. It was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Stares at self, lol. Um, he says, regardless, uh, there's gonna be a problem retrieving her. Does she hate us? Num. Yeah. I don't Probably. know. I've never, I've never spoken to her. 
the issue is, is she's trying to get her father back. Uh huh. Um, Wait. Looks at Rinder. <laughs> is she like a sorcerer or something? No, no. She she's a blacksmith, but apparently, um, somehow she got a hold of books that spoke about a very very forbidden and lost area of the Mist Plains, which I believe some of you have traversed before. And he looks at Rinder. <laughs> well, I... Rinder, you're kind of fucked up, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> he glares Whoa. at his remote. Not in a bad way, just your life's been pretty fucked up, huh? Wow. Can you just send someone rub else to Asterosa? Wait, well, no. what did he say? At this point, <laughs> this is Tear speaking. At this point, Commander Rinder. I feel like I'd be disappointing the rest of the Tantalium if I didn't send you to Dastarosa. Dastarosa? <laughs> of course, you won't be there long. You see, you'll need to travel this river in search of the daughter, and then to bring her back. Um, question. I have an answer. Are we going in the river or along the river? <coughs> On the river. Uh, anyone here aquatic? You won't need yeah. something like that. You will need to call on the services of the Vicarian who patrols the river and guides its flow. He transports the dead souls that the demons claim to hell for their punishment. Those that the Pale Lady turns aside and instead of putting onto the Wheel of Reincarnation, the ones that uh, need some time learning their lesson. How quaint. Yes. So you'll be traversing that river. Any other questions? I feel in a generous mood today, so I will put up with your normal whinging complaints in order to give you more information. And everyone can roll me an insight check on that. Yeah. Cool. Anyone that's in within 10 feet of Zeris, add a plus three. Oh, Heck yeah. yeah. your aura. I'll say that to everyone. You're standing in a square instead of a line. Or a rectangle, however to make it work. Insight plus three. Four. No, uh, mine's just a 21. Sorry. Mine's already factored in. 21. Anyone else? It's a group uh, check, so I want everyone uh, to roll. So 10. I'm trying to figure out the mechanic. Okay, here we go. Insight. Three. 25. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys kind of collectively realize that he's, he's giving you more information because he's actually expecting all of you are going to die on this if he doesn't. Hmm. What else is new? So, you guys get some questions to ask him for a change about your mission. Also, none of you really can remember having a conversation with Tyr recently. Yep, that's true. Sounds so... Arya. Arya knows nothing about Asterosa. <laughs> I've not even seen any If I touch the water, do I die? No, you'll lose all of your memories immediately, though. Oh. So, this guy moves people along the river. Yes. I'm guessing there's a cost. Yes. Do you know it? Yes. Two gold Blue. pieces. Two gold pieces. Okay. Anything special about it, or is there, there's no catch, is there? Not normally, no. You'll okay. need some way to call him, though, and I don't know how. Oh. Ring a bell, light a torch, something. What's his name? Archon. Oh, that's a... That's a good question. Uh, so uh, I suppose what we could do is that um, we could just kill someone and send them to hell. That would work, likely. Yeah, but who here would actually go to hell? <laughs> Looks at Ferris. <laughs> the whole party. Krieger, <laughs> Krieger, 
here and 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 uh, several NPCs in the Tantalium open the door to the white room and all look at Zaris. Wait, what was said? Zaris and me weren't paying attention. Don't worry about it. No, he was too busy looking in the mirror at himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he was looking at himself as well you during the same mirror time. And then everyone's looking at you, and you're just like, wait, what happened? <laughs> Is it my fault? It was my fault, wasn't it? Do I need to go smite someone? No, <laughs> no, it's it's fine. We'll talk about it later. Do you have a question, Jing? I do. I I'm sorry. Was your name Yao Jing? <laughs> well, she's not saying anything, is she? Well, you didn't give her a chance, now, did you? Oh, don't worry about me. I was just, you know, looking at you in response to somebody asking if people around here would be the type to go to hell. Uh. Well, one of you killing yourselves or all of you killing one of you would definitely call in Archon. I can Uh-oh. revive people. Uh-oh, hey, there. where's... where's um, don't we have a dead body around here somewhere? Oh! Go get Kellogg. <laughs> Kellogg's soul has likely already moved on from the body. Oh, man. Damn. How do... What if we bring along uh, the shit stain from the orphanage? Richard? Yeah. He's fine where he is. Oh. So, is there anyone we want to kill... Zaris looks like Krieger. Well, well maybe, maybe we don't need to kill anyone. I was just making a rhetorical question. Since now's the only time we get to ask these questions, there's probably less volatile wa- ways to call in the ferryman of the dead. I mean, I'm sure. Just, we were speaking in theoreticals. What, Tear you really says... think I steal anyone? Tear yawns and says, I wouldn't know them. I don't normally deal with the dead. Oh, we can bring, like, an animal. Aren't all of us you dead? Just, you just gonna run out to the store and grab an animal and slaughter it? Oh. It's Saint... gonna go to hell. <laughs> Meanwhile, Saint sneezes in the living room. <laughs> all of Juniper's <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> oh my god, so many squirrels. Would that work, though? I don't think an animal soul would go to hell. Don't all animals would go to theoretical Remember heaven? E- Remember the evil, like, chicken in hell? No. Oh, that was like a cockatrice or whatever. That's not actually an animal. <laughs> that, was a pink, that was a pink chicken with a gun leg. No, Heather, that was, that was actually an actual chicken. Oh, leg. I know. I remember. Uh, okay, I'm both. Saying, both yeah. Because he's a demon lord and he was breathing fire. He's basically a cockatrice. <laughs> That's Bo. Well, how about we ask the questions about um, information rather than theoreticizing about how to get to hell? Once we. Oh get yeah, there, that's a good we'll... point. How do we get there? You're just gonna send us right on in. I'm going to be putting you at the bank of the river, and you'll have to find your way from there. Okay. There's too much of a chance that she might not have made it all the way to hell. And we can't risk you missing her in on the journey. In addition, the last thing we knew was she was somewhere in the vicinity of the river. If you're lucky, which you never are, she might not have left yet. And if we're unlucky, yeah, no, you're going to drop left. us into the middle of the river. No. <laughs> Krieger says, now listen here. I've done my best to make certain that most of you are absolutely going to land on the banks. Stare is that. Stares at Zaris. <laughs> Again. Is there any way sending us like bit by bit might help your chances, Krieger? Arya flexes her wings. Not particularly, he says. Well. I mean, I suppose in that case, if I were to land one of you in the river, I probably wouldn't land the second in the river. I hate you. <laughs> so, so, assuming that we have to go all the way to hell, will there be any complications we need to be ready for to return? Likely. 
the demon lords are not keen on normally giving up things that enter their realm. Okay. My, my, most of us are bros with them anyway. They'll let us. The reason that I pay you all is to ah, handle complications it. like this. You don't pay us. Wait. Wait, we're you, getting paid? You pay us? Yes. You're not only paid in food and lodging, but I pay you in gold. However, I keep that in a special savings account for all of you. So this way, oh. when this is over, you'll be able to buy noble, noble homes. Wait, buy what? I never asked noble. for this That's... shit. Uh, Nice. No. He just raises an eyebrow at him. However, it was in the terms and conditions. And Tyr snaps his finger, and Krieger unrolls a really long scroll that, like, rolls straight from one end of the white room to the other. I don't remember signing this. You didn't. It was verbal. Oh. You know oh. I ain't too smart, but even I know that the word verbal means anything pertaining to words. Well, those are words, he says, pointing at the scroll. Yeah. So how does it being verbal have anything to do with us signing it or not? Well, it's a verbal agreement. You can still sign a verbal contract. Exactly. It's just signing... more difficult to prove. I asked, yes. However, if you'd like, I could, you know, not pay you. Why do I feel like Anyway... This is crazy? I think we've taken enough time here already. I yeah. have one more question. Go ahead and ask, Commander. And you can almost taste, like, the venom off of him, the way he pronounces Commander. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what skill I could use to try. Okay, to let, 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 me talk. let me talk, Clarice. What is that, May? I said, stop calling me Commander first. Secondly, are you able to tell us her name this time? Yes, I can. As soon as May tells me her name, I can. Because <laughs> it's only now, after writing the whole goddamn arc, do I realize that I've not once recorded her name. Is that Leanne or Len? Leanne. Leanne Thistlewood. The older sister of Violet Thistlewood. I'm certain you're all familiar with her. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, sh I see. <laughs> if Bo know. looks around, everybody goes, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait. And it makes a pun on Violet not having an eye. Can I roll religion to see if I can, if I can know anything about that? That'll help us. Uh, you can once you go through the, uh, the door. Okay. So you guys all set? Uh, yes, please. Did Tyr not acknowledge what Ar I'm assuming he heard Arya. Okay, I, I don't, I don't want to be that guy, but I don't feel like that's relevant. Yeah, Tyr, Tyr doesn't care. <laughs> okay. All right. And you all go through the door. I'm not going first. I'll go first. <laughs> I'm fine with going first. Okay, let, let's, let's uh, ecstasy go through. Alright. Well, either way, as you guys all go through, it seems Krieger has not fucked up for a change. You all find yourself stationed on the bank of a pale gray, lazily flowing river. Uh, Zaris, in your case, you are like, you're, you're half on the bank and you're half about to topple into the river. It's not in a way that you're going to actually fall, though, because you were ready for this. Uh. And you you just take a step back. Behind you, shrouded in mist, stretches the tree line of a massive forest. Your first challenge is to call Archon. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Can we just yell his name? Yo, Archon, where the fuck <laughs> are you? Your your only answer is the gentle wind blowing through the mist. Can I roll religion? Sure. <laughs> Killing someone would call him, because then he'd have someone to transport. Leon! Are you there? 
Leon! There's no response. Well, I'm gonna take that as a note. We've got Violet as a hostage! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Render seems visibly uncomfortable. If with you this. don't come out right now, we will kill her and send her to hell, and you'll have to get both of them back. <laughs> response? No response. Okay. Fuck. She's she's not around. Okay. Now, now that that option is exhausted, let's see into the other options we've got. Is there anything else nearby that we can see? Let me roll. So I know Violet's not here, but that was At disadvantage, dark, Martin, uh... in the mist. Huh? At disadvantage in the mist. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, okay, <laughs> here we go. Got him out of the way now. Ecstasy, you're busy caught up in how familiar this area seems and looks to you. As if you may have traversed this path once before in your life. Deja vu. I've never been in this place before. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone okay. else? Is it dark? No. Then I'm going to look around as well. At disadvantage because of the mist? Uh, Even with that. At it's disadvantage. Very, it's, it's, it's very... It's, it's, a, it's something that isn't normal mist. Okay. You can see that the uh, the river is not in danger of overflowing its banks, and the bank seems to go down maybe a foot or so before the water actually starts. It's moving very, very, very slowly towards the south. The uh, other side of the river, you can just barely make out, uh, but you do not see anything on the other bank. I relay what I see, what little I see, to the rest of the party. You're about 30 feet away from the forest behind. <clears throat> hmm. Can I listen to see if I... To see, to figure out if I hear anything. You may. Perception at normal. You can hear the gentle lapping of the water on the banks, as well as what sound to be small croaks coming from the river. It Fine. sounds like the frogs are chirping, and it sounds like they're saying, Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> we got some crabbies in here. I um, know that there are okay. owl bears well. here. Um... Ecstasy is going to cast Thaumaturgy to increase the volume of his voice. Mm. <laughs> and he's going to yell, What's that, little Violet? You're looking for your big sister, Leanne? Is there any response? I don't Nothing. think Leanne has Thaumaturgy. However, birds no. from the nearby forest take off. <laughs> and fly okay. away. Well, <laughs> before we start killing each other just to get to hell. How about we walk along the river to see if we find something? Yeah, I guess. Before that, uh, I'm going to... Earl hasn't done anything, Earl. And same with Israbo. I haven't seen any checks from Israbo, Earl, or uh, Rinder yet. I've been waiting. In one sec, I need to reconnect to the... Thing. You guys, yeah. I think that everyone just DC'd. Oh. I see yeah, myself, it's... but I don't see anyone yeah, else. I don't see anyone else. Yeah, I'm same. Oh, there oh, we it go. Just did it it yeah. just did it for me. Uh, as mentioned, we won't be using any maps tonight, so. Oh, okay. Cool. Refreshed as I just as I as I came back. <laughs> that feeling. Can I do a thing? Then? Oh, ow. Nope. Oh. Oh. Yes. Nope. Okay, so Heather, go for it. Okay. Uh, so first things first, Dylan, I want to make an Arcana check to see if maybe I know there's some kind of a ritual for summoning some kind of... I wouldn't say divine being, but, you know, like maybe a... Oh, Archon, blah, 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 you know, that kind of thing. Yes, yeah, you can make an Arcana check. 
arcana check. Sorry, don't take away my disadvantage. My, my thing. So, um, this is uh, an easier check than it was with a religion check, actually. Um, because the religion check would have told you about the ritual of killing someone. However, an arcana check, well, uh, magical energy in this case is going to be just as good, if not the same as spiritual energy. If you were to sacrifice and throw away uh, any magic item into the river, it would give the same expenditure as one human soul. Oh, okay. Uh, ecstasy flips uh, this ring. Cool. Give me a second to decide uh, what I'm going to do with this information real quick. Yeah. Because I might do something. Uh, so, okay, yeah, you actually might not tell anyone. Yeah. yeah. My bad. So, so let me, let me, uh... So first thing first, Bo's going to tell a joke, because I've been holding on to this one. Bo's going <laughs> to, Bo's going to nudge Zerus and be like, hey, Zerus. Yeah? You know how you can tell how deep the water is? Oh, boy. How? Uh, the frogs. They'll tell you usually when it's knee deep. You cut out for me. I didn't hear the No, she no, didn't. Did not. <laughs> that was the entire joke. Yeah, that was it. Knee deep, deep because it's a set. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, but seriously, um, does anyone have anything magical they don't give a shit about? Because uh, instead of killing a person, we could kill an item. Well, how would curses work? It's magical, right? Do you think a uh, magically constructed item would work? Is Not it an item with magic? More like an item made of magic, like my shadow. Then that fits the bill. Toss no. it in the river and it's killing it. Because, because we're talking about something that. Oh no, actually, that. Hmm. If would it that is work? a arcana check. If yeah, it's a magic true. item, yeah, that's you know that's actually a good idea. Arcana check. So yeah, Bo says, look. I'm pretty sure if it's a magic item and we toss it in the river, it's the same as killing a person. Except, you know, I'm going to use... Uh, Dylan. Yes? I'm going to use my inspiration for this check. Go ahead. Oh. Good thing you did. Technically, it'd work. <laughs> well, I before we start throwing away story. magic items... Before we start wasting magic items... Look, does right. anyone else want to make any sort of checks on this or not? You can also, like, do... Don't forget, there's also such thing as an insight check to see if something, although technically it might work, if it is a good idea or not. I guess I'll do an insight check when I'm done. Uh, this is something that I would say that some of you would definitely be like, hmm, I wonder if throwing a nope. magic spell at this river is a good idea. Should <laughs> I throw my warlock amulet into the left lane? There you go, Zeros. <laughs> oh, there there you master. Go. Zaris, with your insight, I'm going to count that as your insight for kind of both things. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, do not try to cheat the river. <laughs> you're, you're, you're pretty certain that that would, that would call up a, a moderately annoyed Archon. If it's a magic item, you're pretty certain he's not going to be annoyed. Or um, because it's still the same expenditure and it's part of the ritual is just sacrificing something like that. So, yes, it, it would work to throw in um, your Warlock's amulet. Or it would work to throw in a magical item. You mean my screaming sword? <gasps> oh my god, that yeah. is brilliant. Do you want, do you want to get rid of that thing? <laughs> this, the, uh, the sword that just constantly screams? Yes, you could get rid of that. <laughs> what It gave me what? It gave me, if someone attacked an ally, I could attack them, right? Yes. But it's uh. from... <laughs> you look at your screaming sword. You get only a ah! <laughs> Zaris looks at his bag of weapons. <laughs> Which one? Ah! Which one? Are you guys okay uh, with me putting the screaming put, sword into the river? The <laughs> I, mean, I do. I I do have the rusty scimitar that that uh that white had. It's, well, I don't know if it's magical or not. I haven't been able to properly check it. Check it right now. It's in agony, right? <laughs> Hard to tell. Ah! Does the sword change it's, it's in agony, Zeris, or is it just screaming because... Oh, it has the souls of a bunch of, like, people in agony and stuff. It's crazy. Great. Well, then souls. put them to rest. Stick them in the damn river. I agree. Oh. Cool. Be nice. I thought Plop. it was just a screaming sword. Are you... 
tossing the screaming sword with thousands of souls of agony into it into the river to free I mean, them all. Play, paying the cost for a lot of people. <laughs> to be fair, he'll actually have a job. <laughs> Gonna summon a couple of archons. <laughs> We're in a couple of boats. <laughs> We're summoning a fleet. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Hey, I have a boat in my room. I should have brought the boat. Yes, that's I, Please, the ship is coming. <laughs> uh, uh, e ecstasy t says, uh, tells Zara, please throw it into the river. But before you do, can you just, can you just cast, cast thaumaturgy on it one last time? Oh. <laughs> Zara's <laughs> cast the Maturgy on the sword as he chokes. Ah! <laughs> Laughs. <laughs> High fives, ecstasy. <laughs> and the screaming begins to reach a crescendo. Mm. Oh, yeah, more. <laughs> as thousands of souls of the dam are all suddenly released. Hey, look, you did good. Thousands of ghostly apparitions begin appearing on your side of the bank. Thousands of them. <laughs> <laughs> what if we, we just all condemn What if I'll we take... condemn them all to hell by accident? I'll take, um, eight thousand... I'll take, a uh, fucking party screws up. GM's plot within 10 minutes to 10,000, Bob. <laughs> I mean, it still works. What you know, I just want to point Mark. this out, that it was with another item that you've given to us. <laughs> yep. That's true. Um, Earl, however, uh, this was an extremely good act. Your alignment switches to neutral good. No! I just <laughs> Bye, friend. I just told you, you did a good thing, bro. You just got kicked out of the true neutral party group. <laughs> no, hey, you're still within... Maybe you're, you're, you're not... Still, you're still neutral, which is the, the thing that Adula craves the most. More than good or evil. So he's still neutral, but he's... That was definitely a good action. <laughs> well, um, maybe you're not... Maybe you're not likely to go to hell, now, like everyone thinks. There's a bunch of very confused people, no longer screaming, looking around on this bank. And I'm so, gonna point it. Oh wait! Oh wait! Yep. Yeah. And somewhere, you begin to hear down the river a small thumping sound. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can see heading up the river against the current is a very small vessel with a single figure on it with a long pole pushing off the banks. <laughs> From where the sword hit the water, blood begins to spread out over it. And uh, here's my first poem. <clears throat> The vessel sails up the river of woe as the blood spreads, flowing as if from a wound. Behold the humble rowboat of the oarsman Archon. Dark as its sailor, and unadorned by fancy, it gently touches the soil of the mortal world as its passenger waits. <laughs> as the, uh, the boat reaches you and ends up on the shore, and within it here stands somber Archon, a forgotten god marketh by his sorrowful face. <laughs> a beard descends as unkempt as it is unclean from his chin. His eyes wreathed in a pale blue frame, flame, sorry. A cowl dark as a starless eve shields his form. And his fiery gaze passes over every soul that you have freed. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Is this and your quota? He looks at you all and steeples his fingers. <laughs> and then after gazing at you all for a moment, turns away 
and extends his hand to the first of the souls. And it steps forward and holds his hand and boards the boat. And you see a ghostly form of the boat Archon and that soul start traversing down the river. Well, Archon, his physical form, still remains beached on the shore of the river. As more souls approach him, they take his hands and begin sailing away. So there's multiple ghost boats right now. However, they, they, they all fade into the mist, and you can no longer see them really quickly. Interesting, though. As he's doing this, he turns to Zeris, and he says, Payment for all of these souls will total <laughs> 3,000 gold. All right, I can handle that. Okay. Zeris hands over the gold. Okay. Excellent. They shall find their way. <clears throat> and his physical form, now having finished with all the souls, he looks like he's about to push off from the uh, the shore as well. Wait, 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 wait. He pauses and looks up. Um, any chance we can give you gold for us two? He stares at you all. You wish to traverse the river. Yeah, we kind of got to find somebody who went this direction. That's not dead. All yeah. but one of you have the stench of the living upon you. <laughs> Looks around, smells armpit. Looks oh, in yeah. Render. I just remember, I was dead once. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, Where I... me? <laughs> Have you finally come to your resting place, Ecstasy? I mean, I, I feel quite alive, you know? <laughs> I see. I can grant you passage for the normal ferry. However, your return trip will be far more expensive, I fathom. It will be two gold coins for each of you, apart from Rinder and Ecstasy. Ooh. Ecstasy has paid his own fee ten times over at least. On the eyes of his victims, allies, and innocents. Whereas Rinder has caused much death and destruction, and as such his cost is doubled. What's the feedback? Two for each, four for render, zero for No, ecstasy. I mean, the, the way back, I bet we're gonna have to, like, fucking give up our memories or some shit. This is the only way that I take. Always down, never up. You didn't answer my question. Well, he did. He just said he doesn't take the ferry back, meaning we're gonna have to find our own way back or a different way back than him. I. Wow, I can't believe we would say the word I when Jing is right there. <laughs> no, not I, like eyeball. Zerus has asked a question. So there, uh, Earl, would you like to ask that out loud? What about me? I smite people all the time. I, however, your karma has been cleansed with your act here today. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, so if you have good karma, you pay. If you have bad karma, you don't? Yeah, because you're not. Yeah. Well, if you're real bad, it, your cost is doubled. So Rinder's bad and Ecstasy's good? Bum, bum, bum! That is not my way. I simply charge based on what I see. Fair enough. Here's my two. Here's my yeah. render six. He extends a, a greasy hand towards you, Izerbo, as you pay. Cool, I will drop the coins into his hand from like two inches up. He then, the coins as they touch his hand literally just vanish and he keeps extending his hand towards you as if to help you onto the boat. All right, I'm not gonna be rude. You take his hand and you're struck by how cold and wet it is as he gently helps you into the rowboat. 
He then extends his hand out to the next. I thank you, my good sir. Arya will pay hers now. He takes your hand and leads you onto the boat. Next. Two gold, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. Jing, he takes your hand, pauses for a moment, and stares at you in your one good eye, and then allows you into the boat. What's up, dude? Zaris, render ecstasy. Zaris, render. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Render wordlessly <laughs> pays us. <laughs> yep, yours is four gold. Yep, oh. Well. Four. And, uh... <laughs> Quad 33, ever in sync. Um, <laughs> Archon then takes your hand and leads you into the rowboat. Now, this boat did not look big enough for all of you, but as you're getting into it, it seems big enough for all of you while still seeming too small. It's a weird perception thing that's going on. Hmm. Zaris, ecstasy. He extends two hands, one out to both of you this time. So, um, what if... What if Saras were to just float on his heel the entire way? <laughs> Please, no. He doesn't dignify that with a response. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll... So, what? Can I just get on then? Can I just freeload? He nods at you. Okay, well, I guess I'll get on. Alright, you take his left hand, Zaris. So he still has his right extended to you. Uh, well, I was gonna ask before I got on, and Zaris pulls out the, like, squad 33 patches, and he's like, did these guys all make it through? No, none of them. <laughs> and he grabs his hand. That's that's kind of a good thing, Zaris. That means that they didn't go to hell. Yeah, but their souls could be damned. Someone could exactly, be... but it means that they didn't go to hell, which is also a good all go thing. To hell. We all get sorted out. Now then, before we set underway, as most of you still have your main ties to the land of the living, there will be dangers traversing this. We sail through each one of the realms, including a section of the void, Ooh. in addition, through many different planes. Well, most of these will be harmless or only strange in nature, there are some that will be very dangerous to your kind. The first will be the Shallow Marsh. The second will be the Ergarin, the resting place of barbarians from the north. <laughs> I'll give you a second, Earl. <laughs> All right, I'm good. After that, Kralach. <laughs> Beyond there, we pass through the sparkling fields. And lastly, before we'll reach the void, we pass through Benohoff. During our journey, under no circumstances are you to disembark. If we stop at any moment, you are to stay aboard. Under no circumstances should you ever touch the water, no matter what is seen within it. And lastly, you will obey anything I tell you to do. You have a question, child uh, yeah. of pain. Uh, what do you say? You have a question, what? Child of pain. Uh, uh yes. Uh, Archon, dude. Dude, Archon. Um, did, did a woman named Leanne pay for passage for you? She attempted, but she did not have the payment. So... She probably will. As she had already slain herself, she no. decided to swim the river. <laughs> well, I think that takes the edge award for the day. 
Well, also, but like the the planning there. Oh, I, to to summon the the guy, I need to kill myself. To oh, be I true. don't have two, I don't have two gold. Shit. <laughs> and to be true, her I am not certain. To be true, I am not certain if she had slain herself or if someone had slain her. All I know is that a soul came here, seeming as if it had a purpose. And rather than risk wandering the banks for all of eternity like those without payment do, she swam. Oh. That doesn't seem promising. Well, I guess. Someone of amazing willpower to make it beyond the shallow marsh. Let's hope she made it. Well, only one way to find out. You're right. And he turns his flaming gaze upon you. There is only one way. And with that, he pushes off. And your little boat falls into the water. And so the journey of the damned begins. Faithful Archon's pole gently touches the banks as they slowly wind their way down to their doom. You guys have some time to interact or ask Archon questions as you begin sailing the river. So, so uh, is it all... Go ahead. So Arya's asking Archon, is it only people from this world or those who are going to hell that you ferry? This river touches all worlds. However, that location you are at is its head, where it begins. Such is the place where their journey starts normally. You'll find that this location exists in all existences. A unassuming river with a large forest backing it in a misty section of your worlds. Can I roll, I guess, survival to if I know of the pla any place that fits such a description on Maridana? You may. Survival nope. or history? <laughs> well, you can roll whatever he wants, and it was survival, and that's an, that is a big nope. <laughs> mm. Let me let me roll a history check. Plus three is. Oh wait, do I get a plus three to that? Well, I still it's still a two, so. <laughs> uh, twenty-five oh. then. You've heard rumors of um, rivers in uh, Mary Donna and people falling into them and then sleeping forever afterwards. But no, you can't pinpoint an exact spot in Mary Donna. The, but, the area okay. that you were at was very unassuming. But are there two rivers? And was there a battle there? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I just heard May like unmute so that he could sigh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm um, disappointed. I don't get it. What? There's like this battle of two waters meme around Rinder. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, my actual question that I wanted to ask is: Are you the first ferryman of the dead, or have there been others? There have been none. Always me. As long as a single living creature exists in this multiverse, I cannot die, nor can I be slain. Sorry. Damn. So, so, so in order, so in order to ensure that there's always someone to ferry. Aye. Do you ever get time off? <laughs> no. Yeah, us either. <laughs> Literally. So, like, uh, what happens when, you know, like, a Vicarian dies? Do they go through here? Yes. Huh. Neat. Are there yes. any Vicarians that haven't paid the toll? No. 
does someone need to know that there's a way to, that they have to pay a toll in order to be able to pay it? What? Does someone need to know that you need money when you go into a store to buy an ice cream cone? Most <laughs> people don't all, not a lot of people know that you need money after you're dead. Then they traverse the banks. And he gestures with his arm, and although the mists are too thick, you see many black shapes, as if they were shadows in the mist, wandering up and down the banks. They traverse these forever, lost in the mist of Astarosa. Some wander very far away from the banks, but none can ever leave the mist. Can someone pay their toll? after the fact any money you have would be like a drop in the ocean but for all these be... lost souls I mean, collectively sure but you know two gold is two gold for one person
a year like fucked forever. He doesn't say anything and keeps pulling ahead. It seems like you'll need to do something to convince him to tell you. Okay. <clears throat> Persuasion. I'm going to roll first and then explain in a second. Okay. Um, are you guys seeing it? Because I clicked it and it's not showing up for me yet. Has nope, it not showed up yet. Okay. I'll wait to see if it shows up. Um, so yeah. Um, Tell me what you got. It's not showing up for me either. Okay, tell him what you say then, first. Oh, um... I was gonna say... It just seems kind of... If people aren't aware that they can bring their material wealth into the afterlife with them, why would they be concerned? Not to mention anyone who lives a poor life full of struggle is damned to even more struggle once they die simply for the fact of not having something as simple as coin it just seems like there's more to it that is not being explained there's more lore behind it and i'm interested to hear why the coin was chosen And I'm trying to type persuasion. Yeah, I'm still waiting for it to show up. <laughs> yeah, I just... Okay, come on, what the fuck? I typed it and it's still not... Give me a second, I'm gonna refresh. Okay. Because I even manually Wait, typed it you... and it just didn't do shit. Did my thing just pop up? Your mm -hmm. dot dot dot, yeah. Well, I mean, for you. No, it did not pop up for me, so I'm refreshing. You might need a fresh. I, I've already refreshed. I'm just waiting yeah. for it to reload. You gotta frosh! Frosh it up! Oh yeah! What's frosh? Frosh! Is it a quote or are you just being silly? Being silly. Oh, okay, cool. I, like, That's can... a quote, I don't get it. <laughs> can I yes. ask what, something while we wait for the roll to go through? You can. What do you use the money for? Roll me a check as well. Oh. <laughs> Gonna be here forever. That's okay. This one's mostly a role play and spoopy session for you guys to get a bunch of meta plot. No, I mean we're, no, I mean we're gonna be here waiting for the rolls to come through. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, went through. Heather, how about yours? Still not on my. I just rerolled. There it, it is. Oh, there it okay. is. Uh, no, is, that, is. Is that with plus three or is it just wisdom checks? Earl. Muted. What? What? Your aura is that give them a plus three or is that only with wisdom stuff? Plus three on uh, skill checks and uh, to attack. Cool. So yes. Both all skill checks? And all skill checks? Yeah, it's, as long as they are within ten feet of me. Is that a de That's not a destiny thing, is it? That is the destiny thing. Oh shit. Hold on, I gotta re-look that up. <laughs> I'll do it later, though. Just uh, relink me the class for me to look at later. Um... So, yeah. You Thank guys... You. Hey, start he... with the bow. Well, he's going to answer you both at the same time. Oh. They're used fuel something else. All right, and I would like that. Oh. He, with that ominous, silent answer, he continues to pull, not looking at any of you. Arya I would like to ask, um, how would one change how things work for... The people who were trapped on the shore. You would not. And a persuasion, I guess. He he answers. You don't need a persuasion for that. He says you would not. You can trap all their souls inside a screaming sword. Mm. He pauses, and he doesn't miss a step in his polling, but you do see that he hesitates. And then, without looking at any of you, he nods at what Ecstasy just said. Though there may be many, there is surely a finite number of them. He shakes his head at that. Ooh. They're not, like, multiplying or duplicating, so they have to, like, 
exist. I mean, if it's like a cycle thing, and there's more every day, then, you know, it well, just right, keeps looping. There still, there'd still be a number somewhere. Currently, yes, but the number changes, I think, is what he's trying to say. He nods. You free these souls for now. They finish their torment in hell. They are sent back and reincarnated. And some of them will come into lives and lifestyles where again they will die with no money. They will have no way to pay the ferry and they will be trapped on the bank. So the only way to end this kind of cycle would be to find an alternate source than gold, potentially. If this thing wants for gold, which is what causes this cycle, it would just need to not want. Does it need to be gold, or does it need to be two gold coins worth? Oh, yeah, no, that's totally fine, Earl. What? I just looked it up now. Yeah, no, I had just forgotten that you had that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Did you hear what we said? No. Okay. Does it need to be two gold coins, or does it need to be two gold coins worth? Two gold coins. So it is specifically the gold coins they're after. So what I said, Dylan, was that effectively... The only way to prevent this cycle from continuing is the thing that wants for the gold to power whatever it is would need to not want for gold. Okay. That was a question. Oh, you're asking him? He doesn't say anything. Dylan? Yes. Can I roll religion on what might be getting the gold from the river sticks? You may. Um, grew up in cathedral background. Anything? If there is anything else extra, I'd just be lowering the DC. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, nothing needs the gold. Gold is worthless. It's it's just it's the uh, the people on the bank that are needed. You're not certain what for, but the gold is just this way you pay into not having to serve time on the bank. Okay. And you get to go right back into reincarnation or your punishment instead of getting, or your reward but instead the of getting on stuck the bank on the bank. Are needed for something. Yes, the people on the bank, their souls are being used for something. They are the fuel, not the coins. Hmm. So if it wasn't coins, it would just be something else. Yes, he says, oh. having realized that Zaris yeah. came to the conclusion. Wait, did you share that, Zaris? Oh, that's I mean, I, ha I had it yet. Sorry, okay, did I yeah. take it back? Yeah. yeah. Rewind. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. That was my bad. Um, Zaris just kind of like looks over at the people on the banks, kind of like, well, they're needed for something. The coins have nothing to do with it. It's the fact that there needs to be people that don't go. I. I. He says. Seems like a shitty economy. Ugh. It is not my place to judge. Yeah, but Damn. like, you know, you're taking money out of circulation. If I, I'm assuming it just kind of disappears. But what, he, what do I know? He doesn't answer. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, I take it back. Krieger should not take business advice from you. <laughs> Gain an inspiration. <laughs> Is anyone doing anything else? Talking to each other? Talking to Archon? Does Rinder have anything to comment about? Nope. Um... Okay. Ari is watching the shores. Well, then Ari is the first to notice that soon does the mist come. 
and it begins to choke and strangle your sight until your sight gives its last gasp and is swallowed up by the misty white around you. And you guys can no longer see any of your party members on the boat. Well, unlucky. I'm going to use my my ring of telepathy and be like, hey, Zerus, reach out for me. Don't you need to see people to do that? No. Nope. You do need light. Oh, I do? You do need line of sight. Okay. You, well, I think you need line of sight to start it. Yes. In which case, I'm just going to kind of reach out in Zerus's direction to grab his shoulder, hopefully. You reach out and you grab Zerus's so shoulder, and Zerus, you feel that. Cool. It's me. Don't swing. <sighs> e ec ecstasy lies down in the boat. <laughs> ecstasy lays down. Aria, you guys all hear Aria ask if anyone can still see. Nope, but I got there. But I got there. <laughs> we can hear each other still, right? <laughs> yes. Just... Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take just, a nap. Like, you, hold you hands? guys. Uh, oh, I, I'll take a nap. You guys, uh, wake me up, kick me if you need me. I would stay awake. This this seems like all those really bad plays where vision goes bad and then people start disappearing. So like. I wouldn't. Should we be ready for anything else uh, along the lines of sensory depri deprivation? Yeah. Well, asks. yeah. First right, off, yeah. your guys' voices are starting to sound more and more muted, as if you were talking with a thick blanket between you all. Oh god, we're turning into the Charlie Brown adults. Thaumaturgy. <laughs> Thaumaturgy. I called it! That sounds slightly clearer, but then it is soon also silence. God damn it, grab each other! Are you guys all grabbing hold of each other? Ariel will reach out. I got Zerus. Next, he wraps, it, wraps his tail around uh, Jing's ankle. <laughs> <laughs> as he lays down. As he lays it down underneath her legs. Okay. Zerus looks at Jing. You don't touch me. It looks into the darkness. Zerus and Jing do that thing. You know when like kindergartners on a, are on a field trip and <laughs> the people are like, hold hands everybody, but then instead like they don't want to catch cooties so they just grab each other's shirts instead. That's yeah. what they do. Well, <laughs> the mist around you seems to get thicker and thicker and begins taking on a sickly green tint. And soon... Nothing remains but your muted voices and a gentle distraction, occasional bump as the ferry brushes against the bottom of the river. The mist seems to drown out all other senses until everything is gone but that quiet bump. Your sensation of touch, gone. Sound, gone. Sight, gone. Even the feeling of simple things, like your tongue in your mouth, is gone. And the only thing that remains is that occasional gentle jostling. It lulls you all into sort of a hypnotic trance, almost. And then suddenly, even the bump stops. And you all look up to find yourselves alone in the boat with nothing to keep you company but your respective sins everyone I would like you to pick someone to go first by popular vote May yeah we have to go <laughs> alphabetically by May May has requested already in advance to go dead last and I have told him I would honor that okay. well so much for That's popular right. vote the GM Ben that, yes, the GM, all his sins. Oh, Lord, we'll be here forever. <laughs> uh, then, then Claris. <laughs> Are we all voting on Claris? Uh, yeah, let's vote Claris yeah. off the, uh, the boat. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Martin. All right. Voting is between Claris and Martin. May. Let's all vote for different Claris. people. <laughs> May votes for Claris, Heather. Oh. Uh, I'm actually fine with going first. I'm really curious to see where this goes. Okay, then, Clarice. 
Earl? Class. All right. Tal, your opinion does not matter. <laughs> oh, this is just Claire like uh, voted off the boat. Okay. Like who's line is it anyway? Yeah, this is just like whose line is it anyway? All right, everybody who is not Claris and not Tal because she needs to be able to record, uh, please mute and deafen yourselves. Can't we just go into Hero Factory too, so we can still talk to each other? Oh yeah, that actually works better. Yeah, go to Hero Factory. All of you for now, go to Hero they Factory. They all they're de muted. themselves, Stellan. Ah, well, I'll this, drag this... him. I'll drag him down okay. there. Move him down they to Hero Factory. Move oh, him down to Hero Factory too. <laughs> Hi, Claris. Hello. Claris. You cut out. No, I didn't. I went Claris. Because I'm selecting a song. Yeah, you went. I heard Claire. Yeah, selecting a song. Claris, you find yourself in the boat with it still surrounded by mist. Okay. Facing you, sitting down at a pair of oars and rowing gently is a muscular man. He appears to be middle-aged is wearing a tattered, ragged soldier's uniform. I just look at him for now. I'm a little confused to see him. He stares back at you and stands up. Question, he's in the same boat or a different boat? Same boat as you. Okay. Archon is nowhere to be seen. He stands up and he approaches you. And he stops in your small boat that, with no one piloting the oars, slows to a stop. And he extends a hand out to you. I'll teach you if you want to learn, he says. I'm not sure there's anything more to be taught from you. <laughs> You have many lessons to still learn. Arya flexes one of her talons uncomfortably. He just stares at you. I didn't loot your corpse, so why are you here? You left me with everything intact but my wife, but my life. You left my wife, my child, starving. It was supposed to be a simple job. But you killed me. I protected you... myself. And in doing so, you took away my hopes, my dreams, and my life. I was a soldier, you know. I fought hard for our country. But when they were done with me and they uh, had no more of a use, I was thrown to the side. It's hard to find work. Very difficult. But I found work. I found a purpose. I found a cause. I found a way to put food on my family's table. So well, you say it was in self-defense you killed me. It was self-defense that I, I tried to kill you. You had other options. Did I? You did not leave me with any. Did I have other options? I had no choice. I couldn't find work. I wasn't getting hired. I was a career soldier. But times of peace have no need for soldiers. So 
So, I was sent back. With no knowledge of blacksmithing, no knowledge of farming. I tried. I tried my hand at many things. But an old wound always would act up any time I uh, tried intensive labor. It acted up the day I swung on you. That was how an untrained, spoiled brat managed to get her blade between my ribs. Arya's eyes flinch at that. Just a stroke of luck that you're on that side of the boat and I'm at this side. So come, I still have much to treat you. And he extends a hand still. I want to roll insight. Sure. You, uh, you're not getting any sort of information like this. He's, he's got a hand extended to you and you, your head feels slightly clouded. What reason do I have to trust you this time? None. But what reason did you have to trust me previously? I didn't. Nothing that couldn't be argued. Now come and let me teach you. Arya begins to raise a hand before pausing and asking, teach me what? The truth. The truth of the multiverse. The truth of why you're here. I have been granted clarity. I hold no grudge against you, much as you held no grudge against me back then. I simply want to share what I have learned with you. Share my gift that I was granted. So come, accept my training, accept my knowledge, and you will find yourself growing more powerful than you had ever imagined. He, again, still has not crossed the middle ground of the boat and is still extending his hand towards you. Is it too soon to make another roll? No, it's not too soon. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try and sight again. Oh, nice. You're, uh... The boat's not moving it Because no one's rowing it. Well, I knew that already. That was one of the first things you told me. Yes. He stands there with a hand outstretched. Your head feels a little clearer. What's his expression? Blank.
cracking my head. <laughs> I feel like if I keep rolling, I'm either waiting for a one or a 20, but so I'm trying to think in character, what should she do? What would she do? She tentatively takes his hand. As your fingers touch his palm, you suddenly find yourself back in your your home in the courtyard with a wooden stick in your hands. You're younger and the man is there. Your family stands around. So my father in close attendance. Mm -hmm. You have no memory of the, the river. You have no memory of the boat. Okay. He claps his hands and says, again, and takes a fighting pa uh, stance. I charge at him with a stick. All right, roll an attack. Uh, what do I roll? <laughs> Just a melee attack roll. All right. It could probably be strength, so... It would definitely be strength, yes. Minus one. <laughs> he easily... He easily turns your blow aside and uh, steps to the side and smacks you on the ass as you stumble past him. And as you fall onto the cobblestones, you, the world kind of sways for a moment and you swore you felt planks beneath your palms. He takes another... Uh, roll me a... Uh, roll me a wisdom save. Oh. He claps his hands and says, again. Uh, another attack, then. Aria was not good back then. <laughs> you feel like it's almost an exact repeat of what just happened a second ago. My ass is throbbing. It it definitely is. Roll me another wisdom save as again you collide with the ground. Uh, this one I'm going to use favor by the gods. Okay. So that is a 13. The world around you flickers for a moment, and you could swear that you're on a boat. Something strange is going on here. He claps his hands and says, again. I'm going to hit the cobblestone with the stick. <laughs> Okay, roll an attack. <laughs> Make an attack against the ground. A little better. Ground's easier to hit. Roll damage. <laughs> what damage am I rolling for this? It's a d4 plus your strength. <laughs> Four. Minus one. <laughs> Your father calls out, what are you doing? And uh, he again claps his hands and says, again. How big is the stick? It's like the size of a wooden practice sword. Uh, so I wouldn't be able to break it in half or anything like that to make it a dagger? No. I want to change weapon. 
You don't get to change weapon. You'll practice with what I've told you. There's, uh... There's white encroaching on your vision right now. Like, you know that feeling when you stand up way too quickly and you're really dizzy? Yeah. And your vision gets all black or white? That is going on with you in your head right now. I'm going to look around to see if I can figure out the source. Is okay. that going to be perception at normal or advantage? Perception at advantage. With your far sight, you can see that beyond this courtyard, like the arch that normally has a portcullis <clears throat> that leads out to the road, the road is there, but the grass around it isn't, and it's just foggy white. As you realize this is an illusory world and your uh, memories of the boat that you were on come back and there's a sickening twist sound and you find yourself back on the boat with the guy holding your hand as you stand there. You quickly jerk your hand back from him. But that blackness and whiteness encroaching on your vi vision is still there and it's getting worse. You cut out after blackness and whiteness. It's still encroaching on your vision, and it is getting worse. It was really robotic for me. A sense of urgency is filling you. Did you hear what I said? Uh, after I said that it, you sounded robotic, you said a sense of urgency. Um, yes. Me. Yes, this black and white, this black is now almost, uh, like, fully over your eyes. Um. Arcana to see what's going on. Sure. Can't figure it out. And with that, the black covers your entire vision. Tal, I'd like you to make a Hero Factory 3 quickly, Room, if that's all right. <laughs> Claris, I'd like you to move down to Squick just for a moment, but we're going to have a, a room for you to move into in a second, okay? All right. Should I just start reading until you contact me? Yes. All right. Tal, are you here? I don't actually think she is here, so I might have to make this room for Clarice real quick. One moment. Find the damn thing now. Here it is. Perfect. All right, Earl. You find yourself alone in the boat. Aside from sitting across from you at a pair of oars is a young 18-year-old man dressed in ragged clothing. You recognize this man and you recognize the wounds on his body. He stares at you and then he stands up from the oars, leaving them in their positions 
as your boat slowly floats to a halt. Okay. Are there oars on my side? No. Uh, you want me to row the boat? You want to sit down for a bit? I could have been someone great, you know. Not the way you were going. We all have our chances to redeem ourselves. To change the path we're on. I guess so, yeah. Nothing is ever set in stone. Yeah, just like everyone having a chance at redemption is not always set in stone. But you took that from me. Yeah, you were assaulting someone. So why was it for you to decide that I should die there? No one else was making any decisions. It was you were the person you were attacked and that couldn't defend themselves. You could have taken me non-lethally. You had the skill. Back then? <laughs> With the spear? Not much. I tell you, now I probably could, but nowadays I'm pretty set on killing lots of people, but I'm trying to get rid of that. But who knows? I have to pay the price for your ineptness. Unfortunately, that's how most of the time things happen. She swore an eternal hatred of your kind, you know. Who? My mother. That's okay. Is it? She, even during the end, turned many tiefling away who needed it her aid. She was an apothecary in medicines, mm -hmm. such like that. It was your actions that proved her right. You jumped, killing me, before doing anything else. Calling the guards, yelling for help. You simply acted, and attacked. Sometimes that's all you can do. But who are you to make such a decision? I'm me. Who are you to make the decision to assault someone? He doesn't say anything and just stares at you. So, you want to sit down over here so I can row the boat? I had a younger brother. Hopefully he didn't turn out like you. He didn't. He killed my, himself shortly after. I was the favorite, you see. Oh. And mom, well, she couldn't take it. After what happened, she blamed him for not stopping me, for not being there, for not stopping you. So many things she blamed him. She took to drinking and... Well, he couldn't take it. So... He attacked a group of guards. He was entirely unarmed, but 
He came at them screaming threats, curses. <laughs> they couldn't strain him. He kept struggling. And eventually, it was an accident nearly. The guard broke his neck. The guard felt terrible about that afterwards. Do you see how your decisions spiral out and ruin so many lives? Not just mine. Unfortunately, that's how things work. A good act can be a bad act, from anyone's perspective. Honestly, me growing up in the cathedral has shown me that. Sure, there's plenty of people in the cathedral that thought it was a good idea for plenty of the priests to tell me to, you know, mess my back up with the cat and, cat and nine tails. And sure, many of the human people like you were fine with it too, just because I was a tiefling. No, like, oh yeah, a demon deserves to be punished. And I went along with it. And there was one person that didn't think it was right. He stares at you silently. I feel like people are so caught up in just being like who people think they are that I feel like you honestly think that only the gods get to choose what happens or can do what's right. Oh, yeah. What right do you have to choose? We all have the right to choose anything, really. You could have chose not to attack that person. You could have chose to not become a little bandit. Hell, you could have been one of the guards instead of a bandit. Could I have been? Yeah, probably. You know nothing about me. You know nothing about my life. Why do you think that I could have been these things? Mm. These people have infinite possibilities until they're dead. Maybe I could have been then. Until you killed me. Yeah, and that's unfortunate. A lot of people's destinies who cross mine normally end up on the worst side of things. And that's just how things are, apparently. Not that I like it. He just stares at you. Am I gonna have to, like, move you so I can get to row this boat? Or are you gonna move? Still, he just continues to stare at you. And I guess you continue to stare at him? Yeah. All right. Staring contest. You know, you just staring at me, not rowing the boat, or moving so I can row the boat's not going to get us anywhere, right? He doesn't respond and just stares at you. Cool. So I'm going to try to control my temper so I don't smite you out of this boat. So, move so I can row the boat. If you take a single step towards me, I will kill you like you did me. I mean, you can try. I'm a lot stronger than now than I was back then. Zeus, so you're starting to become aware of something. I need you to roll me some sort of check and insight, I think would be good. <laughs> you feel a little lightheaded.
Okay. Arcana check? Hmm? Arcana, Arcana. sure. <laughs> this... This feels strange. Not in a good way, this whole situation. You can tell that that uh, lightheadedness, it's now starting with a bit of black and white on the edges of your vision now. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you stand up too fast? Mm -hmm. That's starting to happen. Honestly, if you wanted to kill me, you would have killed me already, so why are you just saying if I move forward, you'll kill me? Take a step forwards and I will kill you. He, he says again. Why don't you just kill me while I'm sitting down? He doesn't say anything. See, this is a problem with so many people. They wait to react to things, and not just act. You know, there's a lot of people like you that are in the group that I'm running with right now. They seem to think that if they wait for something to happen and act on that as a reaction, they think that they're good guys or think that they're doing the right thing because they're only reacting to things. They never act before to stop something. And then I get blamed, just like with you, that, oh man, because I acted first, I'm bad. Was he killing just... you a mistake? Probably. Did it save that one person and, you know, save their family from anguish? Yeah. There's good and bad in the world. That's just how it is. Even if, when you do good, there's bad to go with it. People think that the world's so fucking cut and dry. That, oh man, this is good, or this is bad. It's really like a mess of things. As you're speaking, your vision is getting far, far worse. Cool. He hasn't moved at all, by the way, and he doesn't respond to your speech and just stares at you. It's not really speech, he's just talking. <laughs> Are you just staring at him then, too? I mean, I guess there's nothing Xeris doesn't really... I guess I'll roll another Arcana. Okay. This is an illusionary world. The guy is bluffing. He can do nothing to you here. You also know that you have one minute left of at a game time to solve this puzzle. What? <laughs> yep. I stand up. You stand up quickly as urgency fulfills your head. Move. He does not. I walk towards him. He does nothing apart from say, if you step forwards, I will kill you. I walk through him. You walk straight through him. 30 I seconds. Down on you the other down. side, and I start rowing. As you start rowing with 25 seconds spare, Earl, <laughs> you, uh, you wake up laying prone on the boat with Archon and your allies again. <laughs> There's no mist around you, but you travel through a, 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 a shallow marsh. And as you look at all your allies, they're all unconscious on the boat with strange, squat, fat, warty creatures sitting on their chests. 
their mouths uh, bit, biting deep into your allies' throats, and they seem to be sucking something out of them. You can see it's not blood. You can see the one on Claris is huge and fat and bloated. The other ones are starting to grow. You're cool. also covered in, like, what appears to be, like, a leathery flesh like a football. Oh. Yeah. You're pretty sure that you had one on you, too, and it popped. Okay. That wipes that off. Archon, uh, without looking, says, leave them. They must pass this test on your own. On their own. One of your allies has already failed. Okay. Okay. Go down to Hero Factory 2. Okay. Hello? Oh. Hi guys. So okay. I need I need to pull you all up into here now because there's for reasons, and I need you to pick one of you to do next, and then the rest are gonna need to mute and deafen. Right, because there's not enough chats. Yeah. Okay. Um I mean do you want me I... to make more? No, no, this no, is fine. No, it's fine. We'll, uh, we'll quiet and I, make gu it. I guess I could go next. Okay. Heather and May, mute and deafen. Tal, you're also an option. You'll need to do this eventually, too. <laughs> yep. Okay. Ecstasy. You wake up at the bottom of a boat. It's the same one that you and Archon and the others were in, but Archon and the others are not anywhere to be seen. The only one that, uh, the only person in this boat that you see is a man dressed in unassuming clothing with a bunch of stab wounds all over his body. It appears like he was rowing the boat as two oars sit in their locks, and he stands up and stares at you. Your boat slowly drifts to a halt. Well, you're not the Archon. No, but... I'm what killed your happiest. There's a lot of people that killed my happiness. Can you be more specific? I'm where it started. You never forget your first, and he winks at you. Uh, I don't remember seeing you in the... Uh, in the uh, whorehouse. No, but I think you'll remember the bruises I left. And I remember the wounds you gave me, and he kind of gestures at the multiple stab wounds all over his chest and stomach. Oh, now I get it. I was asleep when you came for me. But you were awake when I came for you. Poetic, isn't it? Ironic, really, as it shows both of our standpoints and which one of us is an honorless demonic cur. Ah, uh, is it? So, uh, you did try to kill me uh then lock me in the uh in the storage room hoping that someone would just find me yes and you still had your chance to fight back at least it's not my fault you were too weak to protect yourself it's not no. my fault you were too weak to protect her oh is that how you want to put it then see Here's the thing, big boy. I don't give a shit about either honor or strength or whatever. I do what must be done. You, on the other hand, tried to not only destroy the one person I ever cared about, you also tried to destroy an entire nation an entire house of lords. In fact, because of what ended up happening, you might have been 
even tried to destroy the entire world. So for me, you are much, much, much less of a dust than I would ever be. Because what I did, I did for love, and you did yours for greed. So how about you just hop into the river, so I never have to see you again, or I will throw you in myself. You want to roll something on that? Uh, let me... It's not, it's not a good roll for me, but I'll roll an Intimidation. Okay. Always doing what must be done. But I don't think you ever know what must be done. <laughs> you just react. You don't do what must be done. You do the first thing that comes into your head. That's it. And you hope it's the right thing. And sometimes it's worked out for you, and other times you've brought only pain to the ones you love. Look at your own girlfriend, missing a hand, missing an eye, torn apart in nearly every fight. Can't do anything. You pretend that it's a shield you hide behind doing what must be done. But that's just an excuse, and you and I both know it. Ah, yes, you're very true. Because, honestly, the only reason I do anything that I do is because I feel like it. And you know what? You're the one that showed me that what I want to do is just what I feel like doing. So I suppose I should thank you, you piece of shit. You're learning well, then. You should keep that. Because eventually... You're going to end up doing the same things I did. Eh, probably not. Because you know what you did? You died in a bed while gagged like a fucking loser. And I don't intend to be a loser. It's hard to defend yourself while you're sleeping. Are you really sure that... that hard to defend you... yourself when you're five against one can't even fight me one-on-one -on -one, so you have to bring all your friends with you and you give me shit for just doing what was the easier option are you sure she'll be able to watch your back while you're sleeping you saw how she acted she was totally fine with putting you down they all were an alternate version of you, and they didn't even try to stop it. Didn't even try to talk. You did. Zeres did in his own way. But no one else bothered. Well, that's just a risk I'll have to take, isn't it? And I'm all about risk, baby. So, uh, are you gonna keep the rowing the boat or not you know I kind of have some place I need to go I think you and I have all the time in the world right now besides if you take a single step forwards I will kill you oh is that so and how will you kill me the same way you killed me you'll be gagged stabbed and torn to shreds or maybe and he snaps his finger and four more of them now fill the rowboat. None of them on your side of the boat, all on his. I'll have my me and my five friends pummel you again. We'll leave you for dead in this rowboat right here. I mean, I'm going to hell anyway. So, what's the purpose of this? Are you just trying to uh, make me feel bad? Make me think? Is this supposed to be an epiphany? He doesn't say anything. Alright, if you're not going to say anything, I won't say anything. Okay, and you and the uh, five guys just all stare at each other.
I don't want to be the first one to break the silence, so uh, <laughs> we can sit here all we want, Dylan. I I know. Don't worry. I'm I'm waiting for something. I'm not waiting for some. I mean, I, okay, sorry. I'm waiting for whatever this is to continue. I have nothing that I need to do. Yeah, they they're just staring at you right now. Uh, so actually, let me, let me. Let, there's only this boat. There's nothing else. There's like no mist. There's no water. There's just a single there's, boat. There's water and there's mist around you. You cannot see the uh, the banks of the shore. It's just as if you were in like a middle of a lake right now. You can see that you're still in a river, but you know what I mean? You just feel very isolated. Uh, let me roll a perception to see if I can hear anything else. Okay. Well, that's not terrific, is it? Not only can you not hear anything else, but the air here tastes far staler than it did. Like a moment ago. It's nothing moves. Even in the uh, even in the the boat previously, you were able to hear things like birds chirping every now and then, wildlife moving. That's all gone now. So why are you here? He shrugs. Missed you. Blows you a kiss. Unlikely. Roll the me only... a wisdom save. Oh. That's not good. Amazing. Uh, Ecstasy, you are feeling lightheaded, and you can see the very telltale signs of your vision starting to go either white or black. Like, you know when you stand up too quickly? Right. That's very, very starting lightly to happen to you. And it's getting progressively worse. Wow. So, this is just how you're going to do it, huh? I'm not doing anything. Oh, is that so? Well, here's the thing, big boy. Is whatever you do here and whatever your purpose is here, doesn't matter. In the end, I will do whatever is necessary. If that means that I will end up being torn to shreds or whatever, and I will go to hell, that just means that it's one more death toll for me. Guess I'll just go see my grandpappy again, I guess. Norm normally, Ecstasy speaks with his, like, ASMR voice, but he's kind of um, speaking at a normal tone for once. Interesting. They they say nothing back. They all just stare at you. So I guess uh, didn't have any money to t pay the toll, right? None. Stole it all and left me to wander the banks. And what happened then? He doesn't say anything. Your vision's getting worse. <sighs> well, if you're not going to say anything, I guess I'll just lay down and uh, sleep again. Is is that what you're doing? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming there's nothing that I can do, so might as well just move on. Okay, you lay down. Your vision is slowly getting worse still. Um, there's oars, right? Yes. Is his hands on them? No, they are all standing in front of the oars. So there's no way for me to grab the oar or something, right? You'd have to go past them. And there's no way I could use my mage hand to, like, 
flick it over to me, right? They're locked in things, otherwise they just slip out into the water. Okay. You're starting to feel a growing sense of urgency, however. An urgency of what? Of doing something. Okay, let me roll an insight to see what the feeling is. Okay. You're in an illusion. They can't do anything. They are illusions as well. Something else is happening, and your timer is almost up. You have one minute at a game to f solve the puzzle. Left. Oh, there's been a puzzle. I thought they were supposed to scene, Dylan. Oh, thank it is a scene. It is a scene, but it, there is a solution to it. Oh, I, well, I didn't realize there was even a fucking thing to be done here. I thought this was literally just a scene with nothing else. Okay, well, if there's something coming, uh, and he he's not actually here. This is just an illusion, right? Right. Let me roll... An in investigation. Do it quick. He can't hurt you. There's nothing to stop you from grabbing those oars. Okay, I guess I'll grab the oars then. Uh, see ya, buddy. You run through the five of them, grab the oars. What do you do then? I start rowing. You sit down and you start rowing with nine seconds on that clock left. You wake up back in Archon's boat the second that you do. Around you, um, your friends lay in prone positions, apart from Zerus, who is standing up and looking down at you all. On top of each of them is a squat, warty, some sort of strange brown creature that has its teeth locked into the necks of all of your companions and seems to be draining something out of them. The one on Claris has grown fat and bulbous. Um... Meanwhile, around you, you can see that you are currently traversing a marsh. Go down to Hero Factory 2 with Zaris. All right, who's up next? Oh, wait, they can't hear me. <laughs> One moment. Hey, Heather. I guess me, since May's going last. Unless uh, you want Tal to go, it's up to you two. Up to you, Heather. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll go. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Perfect. So, Israbo, you wake up in the bottom of the boat. Archon and your allies are nowhere to be seen. Sitting across from you, holding on to two oars and sitting on a bench as if he had just been rowing the boat, is a man with rosy red cheeks, a red nose, and blood pouring out of his ears. You recognize this man. It's that guy. It's that guy. And he stands up and looks at you leaving the oars in their locks as your boat drifts to a gentle stop. Okay. What now? You tell me. The well, guy I... in front of the oars says slurring. No, that was out of character. I'm waiting oh. to see his response. Out of character. Out of, out of character. You out of character. You tell me. The guy's just staring at you. Um. So you said he pulled the boat to a stop. Is it? Is it at a? It's just a in the middle. It's in the middle of the river. He just stopped rowing, and that caused the boat to float to an absolute stop. Okay.
So why are you appearing to me? He shrugs. You... You know, it was an accident. I was just... I didn't mean to do what I was doing. I was just trying to flirt. And you know that I didn't mean to do what happened either. I was just trying to protect. It's still your fault. You killed me over an accident. And then you covered it up. I mean, I couldn't have her go down for your misbehavior. You know she wouldn't have been in any trouble. It would have been you who was in trouble if you had said. You Nobody killed me. Really expected that I did it, to be fair. And it took me a bit of time to acknowledge that it had anything to do with me. You killed me. Perhaps. So what do you want? Why do I have to want anything? I want to live. I want my life back. I want to have kicked my alcohol habit. I was getting help for that. I had one bad day, one slip. You wouldn't be the first nor the last. No. But I was the first. For you. And you were the last for me. Am I supposed to... I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want from me here. Like, do I feel bad that you died? Of course I do. Like, I never intended for you to die. At most, I intended to push you away from her, keep her safe. But I didn't intend for you to just up and have an aneurysm. So, do I feel bad? Of course I do. Do I wish that that hadn't happened? Of course I do. But it has been a long time. I've kind of come to accept that what happened, happened. Would you change it if you could? I try not to think of things like that. That kind of questioning eats at you. What if I gave you the chance to change it? I suppose it would depend on the deal offered me, because ultimately I would have to choose what the best option is overall. There's no cost. I could take you back there to that exact moment right now and you could change everything about it. And he extends a hand towards you. Bo leans his hand back. At a glance, I would be tempted to say, of course, because who wants to be responsible for the blood of another person? But I have had a whole life since that moment. And I have not what has happened since has shaped me drastically as a person. So I have to die for your development as a person? That's your reasoning? That's your cause? My death so this way you can have a good life? No. I am a currency to you? No, of course not. However, I can't play with the fate of everything else just over regret of a mistake that I made. I can't take the chance of screwing up someone else's life, someone else down the road. If it wasn't you, who would it be? No one. I was the only victim of that crime. If that never happened, what if something else does? I've spent a lot of time with the god of controlling what shit happens, and sometimes you just don't fuck with even if it's a 
horrible tragedy that you have to live with and you can't undo. Sometimes you have the chance to undo it and it's better not to. But I don't have his foresight. All you need... Hmm? I'll tell you what would have happened. I would have finished... I would have gotten help for my problem. That was the realization. That night, after being pushed off without being killed, I would stumble through, see myself in a dirty shop window and realize what I had become and what slipping cost me. I would go back into my program with renewed vigor, cleaned up my act, cleaned up my life. I would have become a great and powerful adventurer and hero. And the apocalypse in Mary Donna, I would have been able to be there to stop it. That's easy to say. How about I show you? And he extends his hand again to you. Bear with me. But why should I have trust in what you show me? Because I believe you owe it. I am not convinced this is real. Roll me a wisdom save. Because what's his face said, whatever you do, listen to what I say, don't get out the boat, don't touch the water. And I'm like, Ooh. Even with that low thing? Wait, wait. Shit. Oh, uh, is there something else you want to do? No, I didn't roll my inspiration ahead of time, so I fucked myself. I'll allow you to, I'll allow it. We're, we're getting used to that, and you still are getting sort of used to that. I will allow you I, to I use your inspiration. I caught it the second I pressed the damn button. I just... Yep. So go ahead and use your inspiration. I will allow it. Click. Just roll it again at normal? Nope. Roll the whole thing again at insp- with inspiration properly. Oh yeah, this is totally an illusion. This guy's not who he says he is. He's not real. He can do nothing to harm you. This is an absolute illusion. He was trying to lure you into a second illusion. This is a big time waster. Cool. Um, then Bo's going to pull his hand back and be like, you're wasting my time and I have places to be. Am I sorry for the death of the man you represent? Yes. But you... Whatever specter you are, are wasting my time, and I don't much appreciate it. If you take a single step forwards, I will kill you, the drunk man says. You can't. It says nothing. Takes a single step forwards. It and does nothing. You won't. Takes another step forwards. It does nothing. Get out of my way. He still stands there, but you can see he's translucent now that you figured out that this is an illusion. Can I just slide my arm through him? Yes. Cool. Whoosh. All right, you do so. And you're on the other side of him now with the oars in front of you. Uh, Bo's going to actually look down for a moment, think about the actual guy and be like, I do regret it. And if I could be sure, I might go back and change it. And with that, he'll sit down at the oars and uh, try to look around and see which direction he's going. You're going the same direction you were previously. Do you start rowing? Yeah, forwards, not towards the shores. All right. So congratulations for solving that with five minutes and three seconds still on the clock. (laughs) Uh, Martin solved it with nine seconds left. Earl solved it with 25 seconds left. Claris didn't solve it. I'm not going to lie. I was suspicious from the very get-go. You did a good job. Thank you. Um, Bo, Israel Bo wakes up in the boat. You see that you are covered in a weird, fleshy, like, leathery football-like material. And as you look around, you see Rinder, Yao Jing, and Claris all still with strange, squat, warty, fat creatures on sitting on their chests. Uh, with their mouths all around their necks. And you can tell it's kind of sucking something out of them, but it's not blood. You see Ecstasy and Zerus up and standing beside you. Um, Archon, without looking, says, do not touch those still passing their test. I wouldn't. All right, go down to Hero Factory 2. Hey, Tal, so you already know the uh, trick here. Yeah. But... Don't so I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not going to bother really with the timer on this. 
Unless you want me to time you? No, it's fine. Unless you want cool. me to fucking try and set, like, a world record or some shit. I don't fucking... Nah, I'm not gonna time it. You already know what's going on. Um, advantage of recording! So! Yada yada yada, Yao Jing wakes up! And, uh, it is that, uh, that, that asshole crewmate that, uh, you slashed his throat. You can see he still has the red smile you gave him as he stands up from the oars and looks at you. Hey, how's it going? Looks like I'm doing slightly better than you these days. And he, uh, looks at your, your scar on your eye and the missing hand. Yeah, well, I'm alive. So, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Yeah. I know. Good to see that you grew up to be as much of a cunt as you seemed when you were a kid. You know, I feel like, depending on your point of view, you could say that I grew up to be even more of a cunt. Yeah. Now look at you pretending to be all goody two-shoes. Taking care of another worthless wretch. Which one? <laughs> he actually laughs at that. She smiles. Nothing phases you, though, does it? The great Yao Jing. I mean... Or... Does he know your real name? Uh, no, he doesn't, because the... I don't... Yeah, no, the slavers would not have said it. Uh, not this guy. Ex this guy was asking if Ecstasy knows your real name. Oh, are you... I thought you were asking out of character. I was not. She says yes. Also, she sits down. He, oh, that, alright, he just keeps standing and staring at you. He knows your name? Yeah. I Does mean, he know the shame it carries? Uh, which name? Your real one. Your uh, birth name. Yeah, what about it? Does he know the shame it carries? I feel like that's a loaded question. It may be. Anyways, it's not like I'm the one who picked my new name. No, that was the captain, wasn't it? Uh, it was literally like the entire crew, basically. Do you know what Yao Jing means in my home language? Uh, yes. You do? I mean, I don't know. I know what it means in a language, and I'm assuming that it probably means the same thing. Like, I don't know where the fuck you came from, dude. Well, I was one of the ones that suggested Yao Jing first. And Yao Jing, in my home country, it's the name of a very famous horse. That's nice. We you picked know, that actually, name. That's kind of a funny thing because last time I checked, Yao Jing means something about like an alluring woman. So tell me, did you get your dick wet in that horse? He, he. She's smiling. You've never seen you've never seen an illusion choke before, but this one somehow manages it. <laughs> And he narrows his eyes at you. You don't feel bad about what happened to me at all, do you? I do. And you know before you opened your mouth, I was about to say sorry. Are you going to say sorry now? I mean, I just said it. Lord, you are hard to talk to. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, uh, talk too good. She says, inspecting her nails. <laughs> Jesus, what a cunt. <laughs> How is that a character? I'm getting thrown for such a loop during... <laughs> 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 
I was prepared for ecstasy shenanigans. I was not prepared for James shenanigans. Yeah, the dudes. <laughs> you sure show regret in a funny way. Yeah, well. Apologizing's not gonna make you come back. What if you could make come back? What if you could make your family come back? My family? Oh, you don't know, do you? No. Your real family died in the first days of the apocalypse. Oh, that's nice, I guess. They were in the kingdom of Astir. All apart from one were killed instantly. The um, one that lived was twisted into a horrible figure. I mean, did my parents fuck again and have another kid? Is that what you're telling me? To replace you? Yeah, I mean, they, they could have found me. just a rock. They just could have found a rock. Hey, you know, actually, I did that. Gave it to somebody in my party. And Jesus you know what I wrote Christ. on the bottom of it? I wrote the fuck off rock. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tal, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't have serious moments with you. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jesus. You know what? <laughs> the guy says, Go fuck yourself, and then vanishes. Man, I was gonna apologize. Uh, I guess she goes over and starts rowing. <laughs> you hear a final screw you on the wind. She lifts up you... her left hand in a one finger salute. <laughs> As you successfully annoy your way out of the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Go, go. To... Oh, wait, no, you don't get to go anywhere. All right. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. It's beautiful and funny, but everyone else gets a serious moment apart from you. Man, look, if he wasn't going to be that much of an asshole, she would have, like, legitimately apologized. So. Hello, friends. Hi, May. Hello, May. All right. May. See? You wake up in the bottom of a boat. Mm -hmm. And as you stand up, you see across from you sitting at a pair of oars. <laughs> and now standing up is a very familiar face you hoped to not see again. Violet's father. Mm -hmm. As he stands up and releases the oars, your little boat drifts to a halt. He just looks at him. He just looks back at you. He just stares, waiting. And he just stares, waiting. <laughs> I know you're not really here. I'm standing right before you. You killed me in front of my little girl. You made her watch. If I Never. had a choice, I wouldn't have. You always have a choice. You could have suffered instead of her. Instead, you passed your mistakes onto her. Have you even had the balls to apologize yet? She runs away. I don't blame her. Neither do I.
to just stare at each other. So why is this vision of you here? Even now, you can't take responsibility or initiative. You just wait. Reactionary, all of it. When have you ever done anything without needing something else to happen first? That's why you killed me. Because you took no action to change your fate. And so you took mine. You took me from my girls. You took me from my boy. There in that burning shop, when I came to congratulate you and thank you for saving my family and my me. And you killed me in front of my little girl. What would you, you have, have a family done? too, don't you? What would I have done? I sure as hell wouldn't have slaughtered you like a dog in the streets in front of your child. But tell you what, I'll give you the chance to do it. And he extends a hand out to you. You're not really here. Take my hand and you'll see what would have happened had I killed you in front of your daughter. Then we'll be even. You can roll me a wisdom check because you are pretty adamant on this being an illusion, correct? Well, yeah, I had Abdullah change his, essentially change his fate. Not change his fate, but free his soul, free his soul. Roll me an insight. I guess I'll use my inspiration. Oh, great. Wonderful. You know, <laughs> Technically, yeah, okay, that's still enough to succeed because I'm counting you as still in Zerus's aura of <laughs> of skill checks, I guess. Um, yeah, this is an illusion. He's not really here. Take my hand. And I'll show you. No. Then I'll wait. He just continues to stare. Yeah, so does he.
You guys just continue to stay. <laughs> you're totally aware you're in an illusion, too. Boat doesn't move at all. Stare at each other. So I'm totally aware I'm illusion, an illusion too. Hmm. What'd you say? I'm totally aware I'm an illusion too. No, no, you're aware that this is an illusion. Like oh. that's saying that out of character. You're aware that the uh, the boat's not moving at all. <laughs> Just staring at each other. Waiting for something to happen. He blinked. He blinked. He blinked. Uh, Rinder finally stands up. Okay. He draws Defender. Okay, you have a sword out. Yes. Okay, uh, and... he draws Defender. Wait, he draws Defender? Yep, you both have Defender. Huh. Interesting. He kind of tilts his head when he sees that. If it's a fight you want, and all of a sudden it's not the father anymore, it's Captain Carnassius. In full battle gear with Defender out. I will kill you if you take a single step forwards. Uh, Renderer. He I'm trying to think of how to describe it. Roll me a wisdom save. Shit. I shouldn't have used my inspiration. <laughs> okay, you're really bad at these. That was bad charisma. Sixteen? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you uh you are starting to notice the fact that you're feeling really lightheaded and there is a slight white and black starting to encroach on your vision. Like you know when you stand up too quickly and you think you're about to pass out? That. Mm -hmm. But it's it's not going away, it's getting steadily worse. Uh he says No, the time for fighting has stopped. And he he goes down to one knee and says, it's time to start defending those that I care about. He does that pose like, like you know, he goes to one knee, but the sword, the, the uh, point of it is like standing, like like barely scraping against the bottom of the boat. I know exactly. Kind of um, Captain Carnassius just stares at you. You still feel lightheaded and your vision is slowly getting worse. He's just staring at you while you're like that. Whatever you've done, it's not its not what needs to be done to get out of the illusion. Um, shit. Oh, I can't. You want to roll some sort of a check? Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess Arcana. Okay. 16. I guess yeah. Like yeah. Uh, boat's not moving. You need to get the boat moving. How do I get the boat moving? 
pair of oars right on the other side of Captain Carnassius. Uh, he stands back up and he says. You also realize you have two minutes and 30 seconds left out of game to actually do this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, he says. Uh, oh, shit. Mm. If, if you take a one. single step forwards, I will kill you. You are aware that this is an illusion. He can't hurt you. From your previous checks. Uh, he kind of smirked and said, Well, I see you've chosen the form of me in the past. A form that hasn't met ecstasy yet. And he turns around and starts walking backward to the oars. Just to so you're, piss him you're, off. You're moonwalking towards the oars. Yes, because he's not technically walking forwards. All right, yeah, uh, you do not take a single step forwards. Instead, you take several steps backwards. As you, Moon, you walk your way to the oars bench, directly passing through Captain Carnassius, and I guess you sit down and you take the oars and start rowing, right? Yep. All right, go to Hero Factory 2. the way they want to instead of being stuck inside a sword so uh first off i gotta say may you had the most creative solution heather you did it the quickest so may I... <laughs> you come to um with uh some sort of weird brown leathery skin all over your body <laughs> like just as if something had popped on top of and as you look around, you see everybody else in the party standing up and fine in the boat, apart from Arya, who is still down and with some sort of squat, warty-like, frog-like creature sitting on her chest with its teeth sunk into her neck, and it seems to be sucking something out of her. And oh, great. Archon says, unlike the rest of you, she has failed test. Is it going to kill her? No. It will weaken her. Oh boy, level loss. Not a level loss. Oh. Uh, so, what? Well, do we just leave it? Or. <laughs> You'll find you won't have time to leave it. And all of you begin. Hold on, let me just find this. Here. So. As those few with the fortitude to carry on under the weight of their sins awaken, the beings which glutton themselves on uncertainty retreat off the boat and into the mist. And Arya, you come too. Okay. However, you have no more spell slots. As in they're just effectively used or they're gone forever gone. they're all used up as okay. if you would cast each and every one of your spells but it's like bleh. sorcery points are gone too okay <laughs> that that's it i'm not i'm not gonna make you suffer anything else <laughs> well i stuck true to how i thought she'd play you did you did you did actually really well and i'd like to grant you an inspiration yay i could have used it <laughs> I also want to grant. I was May. rolling really poorly. I also want to grab. Um, I'm granting. I'm granting some bonus XP for everyone for this right now as well. Um, Aria, for failing, I'm giving you 100 XP. Oh. Um, May for coming up with the most uselessly complex solution. <laughs> Shut up. Like May, <laughs> May, by the way. When, when the thing went, if you take a step forwards, I will kill you, May went, haha, clearly you have never met ecstasy before, and moonwalked his way. <laughs> no. No. Rinder did that? What the hell? <laughs> Rinder did that. that. Rinder did that. that. Rinder, Rinder technically did not take a single step forward. <laughs> 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 oh 
<laughs> we love you, May. <laughs> by the way, yeah, I think May just beat the arc. <laughs> by the way, May figured out it was an illusion. Um, with eleven minutes spare, but didn't do anything until the final two minutes. <laughs> him and him and the other guy just stared at each other. Sounds about right. <laughs> For eight minutes, I was in character. For eight Wait, minutes, right. I just browsed. For eight minutes, I just browned, browsed Imgur until the five minute mark, where I all gave you guys all that chance to roll to see if you'd noticed the fact that you were feeling lightheaded and had shit going on in your vision. <laughs> until then, I just browsed Imgur, and then I warned him, and he went, "Shit, I had better do something." <laughs> so he, he, when he rolled an Arcana check and figured out what he had to do, he, he said, "Oh, you've taken the form of me in the past now." Because he acted like he was about to fight for a moment. He drew Defender. Mm -hmm. And um, it, so it switched from Violet's dad to Captain Carnassius. Oh. And um, yeah, because its whole thing was it was just supposed to waste your time. Like, that was the creature's whole goal. These illusions were just supposed to confuse you long enough for it, it to, for, to you to not take the, uh, the reins. So um, in Rinder's case, he, 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 after it switched to Captain Carnassius, he went, Oh, since you're me in the past, you've never interacted with ecstasy then. <laughs> and, and, and then you walk. <laughs> so I guess ecstasy taught Render to moonwalk at some no, point. Just find a loophole. So, May, for the most hilarious solution, I'm going to grant you 300. Uh, Martin, for the most clutch, with nine seconds to spare. I mean, to be fair, I just want to mention that as a to be fair, I didn't realize I was like, I, I know that it was the case for everyone, but I didn't even realize, oh shit, there's a puzzle element to this. Oh shit, I've just been trying to make a scene this entire time. Ah, uh, <laughs> shit. So I did, I did the, solu the solving thing in like 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I, essentially, by the way, uh, Martin and Earl's were almost identical. What? Oh yeah, your guys' trend of just, I'm just gonna stare at this guy for a really long time because I hey. don't want to be the first to speak. Well, no, no, yours in your case, May, was because Rinder just stares at people. <laughs> in Zerus and Ecstasies, neither of them wanted to speak first. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they just spent a lot of time staring. So, um, with nine seconds to spare, Martin, I'm granting you 400 experience. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Israbo, you solved it the fastest. I'm granting you 1,200. Yay. As you solved it with, um, you, you figured it out, how to fix everything, set with seven minutes to spare, but you actually solved it at five minutes and 30 seconds to spare. Yeah, yeah, like, I definitely was suspicious from the get-go, and I, yeah, yeah, I was just, I was you just had a, playing it. You had a good scene with that, that drunkard, too. Like, a real good scene. How much did you say? 1,200? Uh, 1,200. One okay, cool. Uh, Earl, I'm granting you uh, the same as I granted Ecstasy. 400 experience. Cool. Because you also clutch solved it with 25 seconds to spare. <laughs> um, when I had to give you the warning that, yeah, you've got one minute left at a game to solve this. <laughs> I didn't get any time warnings. You did. I just went. No, you I got... Just you got... You I didn't get the rolls. Yeah, you didn't get any actual <laughs> time warning because you never did an arcana. I did. I just got a five. <laughs> yeah, you never did an arcana that succeeded high enough. And um, yeah, you you had a you had a really cool scene though. I did figure out that it wasn't a. a I got a suspicion that it was an illusion. And yeah, but then you on it. You got drawn into the second illusion then. <laughs> Like no, that you was when, that was no that was when I f um, started first getting the hints that it was an illusion when uh, I yeah. when I struck the ground and but was quickly yeah. drawn back in. Yeah. Uh, Tao, by the way, um, I'm granting 500 experience because she knew the whole trick and still played along with it. Also, uh, the way she got out was she just annoyed the guy too much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, like, I wanna... literally, literally, the, the illusion and the creature that was feeding off of Jing was just like, I'm so fucking done with this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I wait, what, what was what was 
a Jinx first kill then? If it was I... something that she could just annoy. I'm going to go to the washroom. I want you guys to go ahead and talk about this while I do. Um, okay, so for, because for Jinx thing, what I sent Dylan, <clears throat> what I sent Dylan was, the first person Jing ever killed was a fellow asshole crewmate who was tied up and gagged who the captain got tired of slash wanted to get rid of, so the captain broke Jing in by giving her the order to slash his throat, or Jing would get killed instead. Jing was a child at the time, so she was like 10 years old. Um, at the time, Jing didn't feel much aside from better th better you than me. Now Jing feels regret, but she also knows that she's done so good to others, although that doesn't negate what she did. So basically what happened was the dude was like, hey, because you know how her name is like a thing, right? Right. So the dude was like, hey, you know what Yao Jing means? But you can explain from? it to some of, you can explain the name to others if okay, they don't well, know. Okay, well basically Yao Jing's not her like birth name, it's... Uh, it's supposed to be like a name given to her by the crewmates because it was like a teasing joke because it means like it basic it's basically like a type of spirit that takes the form of like an alluring woman that like seduces um, people in power but like they gave it to like a scrawny little kid because they thought it was funny so um the dude was like, hey, do you know what Yao Jing means, where I come from? And she's like, well, yes. And then he was like, really? Because where I come from, it's the name of a horse. And then she was like, well, where I'm from, it means alluring woman. So did you get your dick wet in that horse? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then he was like, hey, do you know what happened to your parents? And she was like, I mean, no. And he was like, they died except for one of them who turned into a corrupted elf. And then she was like, no, no, no. So what he said was, what, do you know what happened to your family? But she was like an only child when her parents sold her. So she was like, so did they fuck again and have another kid? And he was like, to replace you? If they'd wanted to do that, they could have just gotten a rock. And she was like, hey, you know, I kind of did that one time. And I gave it to one of my party members. And on the bottom, I put the fuck off rock. And then he left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just rage quit. You see, I as a GM was ready for ecstasy to do some weird goofy shit, right? Or to just constantly be teasing or insulting. And I think I played that off pretty well in his. I was not prepared for Jing to give me sass. <laughs> and Jing just sassed the fuck out of me. Um, so what did you guys think of your scene? I didn't expect to, um, where you went with it. I was expecting um, like I wasn't expecting you to bring your family in. Nope. Ah, I thought it made for something cool though. Are you kidding me, mate? Yours was perfect. You... You figured that you and that guy just stared each other down because you knew it wasn't he wasn't real. Like I lacked. Um, I I just think it's fucking hilarious how we went. Oh, you haven't met ecstasy. I know. I'm gonna use ecstasy's how ecstasy would solve it. Meanwhile, ecstasy's solving it in a completely different manner. <laughs> At one point, he laid down to go to sleep. <laughs> I, I, if, if I had, if, if maybe I had realized, oh shit, is this a puzzle, uh, a lot earlier, I would have been, you know what, let's, let's try to make something funny, but because I got pressed for time, I was like, oh shit, solution, quick, now, go. <laughs> <laughs> Nine seconds, dude. <laughs> so clutch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spell slots lost. Yeah, it, 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 they, they were going to get a lot from you guys. Because I gave you each 15 minutes out of game. <laughs> Time to, uh, to fix that. Um, <laughs> but I gotta say, <laughs> the, when you guys listen to the recording, or watch the uh, the video on YouTube, and you see how eerily similar <laughs> Ecstasy and Zaris's were? Ecstasy and Zaris are basically like, to their, to their respective people, they're like, what you did was worse or something. Basically, they're, like, making the argument that what they did was, like, excusable. 
Or not even, like, excusable, but it wasn't as bad. Yeah. <laughs> both of you had the same arguments to come up with, and both of you believed on the side that you're on the side of the right. And in, honestly, in some cases, you were. I think uh, Heather had the most interesting first kill, though. Not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Aww. With uh, Israbo. Israbo's first kill, well, watch the recording and you'll see, but it was essentially a, uh, a, uh, a drunkard that uh, had been harassing one of his friends. And so Israbo accidentally used discordant whispers and gave the guy a brain aneurysm. <laughs> and he died. So Bo covered it up and made it look, because since he was just the town drunk. Bam. Is Arya conscious? Yes, Arya is conscious. Okay. Arya does not feel good, though. <laughs> And uh, you guys are back in the boat. And uh, we can continue the session, or we can leave off here. Um, personally, I'd prefer to leave off at this point, because I don't want to start something new when I know we'd have to leave in the middle of it. Clarice? I, I do agree with that, but I also... I effectively only had, like, 30 minutes of game time. <laughs> And I don't, and I didn't even get to interact with everyone out of character because I was in. Oh, we, 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 we can run some interactions in the boat as you guys are traveling. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. We can we can interact in the boat for the next half hour. I'm just more wondering, do you want me to move you into the next area because you'll likely start something and then not be able to get through the next area? Yeah, I don't want to start and have to stop halfway. Yeah, we can have interactions in the boat for the next half an hour as you guys talk about stuff, ask Archon questions, maybe do some checks on, like, the world and stuff. I'm just asking if you want this last half hour just be sailing down the river, or if you want it to be getting into the next area. So, uh, Clarice? Next area or just interesting tidbits about the world and, and in-character interactions? Interactions. May? Get away from me. Okay. Heather? Um, I can't think right now. I have a really bad headache. So, so interactions, then, is probably best. Yeah. Uh, Earl is BRB. Tal? I don't mind either way. Okay, let's just do some interactions, then, guys. So, <laughs> you guys all come to... Having cast off your uncertainties, your burdens, having been confronted with the weight of your first kills, and managing to all continue on, apart from one, one of you who was unable to continue on past the weight of her first kill. Archon continues pulling his way down the river without speaking. So Arya, does that... Arya is sitting uh, there Earl, with... Earl just yeah. came back. I want to inform right. um, People have decided that this last half hour we're going to do is just mostly interactions and rolls on, like, what's going on, asking Archon questions, shit like that. Because you don't want to get into another big, big thing. People don't want to use overflow to time tonight by the sound of it. That sounds good to me. I have military in the morning, so... Cool. So yeah, go ahead, Clarice, so you were saying something. Arya is just sat down in the boat right now, looking very drained of energy. Another stuff. Like, is there a wound? Is there a wound? Uh, yeah, you guys can visibly see that Arya is missing a bunch of feathers around her neck. Is there, if you still got that mirror, bro? Oh. You still got that mirror, or is that imaginary? Imaginary. Yeah. Uh, so, how bad was your first kill, if you couldn't shake off the depths of it? Oh my god, Ecstasy. You don't just ask somebody about when they kill somebody. I mean, do you know who I am? <laughs> have yeah, you, have you're a you, unicorn, you... and you're being rude. I, I mean... have no way. I have no good response. Thank you, by the way, Tal, for informing me out of character that he's a unicorn, so I get to use that. <laughs> Best. Well, I 
don't know what to make of it. Anyway. Do you feel better so, or do you feel worse? No different. Nothing has changed. Uh, I Hong killed Kong. him because he was trying to kill me. Yes, ecstasy. Um, do people normally fail this trial when they go past here? Because I I'm just thinking that not everyone that's gone past here has always killed someone. No, however, <laughs> most people do regret the first person they've killed, or it has been a traumatic moment in their life. This. The shallow marshes, and he gestures at the marshy landscape around, in which you guys realize you're traveling through a very thick bog, and the water here is extremely shallow. Anything bigger than this rowboat would not be able to get through it. Sorry, this not this rowboat, but this gondola or thing that you're riding would not this be able to get through it. This this luxury cruiser <laughs> <laughs> with eight thousand souls. This area, those creatures feed off of uncertainty, trauma, stress. And they feed on that. They find what is your strength. And if you are unsuccessful in completing the test, they drain it out of you, making what comes next much more difficult. Are you so, no. silent? It is not something most people actually succeed at. Then again, most of the tests people do not actually succeed at. I think it's kind of the point of the seems tests. Like a, seems like a big hassle just to get to hell. You would think it would be more difficult to get to heaven. Well, These people want to souls. go to heaven, they don't want to go to hell. The souls that pass through here do not have the scent of the living on them, which allows them to bypass the tests. Oh, it's because we're... Oh! And they still went for you. Hmm. I mean, I'm... I'm I am alive. I'm not undead. <laughs> no. I mean, I am not a zombie. Although no, XC is not... Ecstasy has the taint of the grave upon him, but it is not as strong as someone who has fully died and is only a soul. Ah. I still got blood in me. He still has a physical form. Yes. His physical form was restored and his soul placed back in it. <clears throat> so, who made those creatures? Me. No one. These creatures simply exist on this plane. Like you? Hmm? Like you? No, I am a Vicarian. I exist on all planes. This is no longer the material plane that you are traversing. Oh, no. These uh -huh. are the planes that exist on all worlds, if you know how to traverse into them. Much as the infernal plane is only a plane, this, this marshland exists on a plane. I mean, I wasn't really asking about the planes, I was asking about, you know, creation and shit. Yes, I am a special case. I neither create nor destroy, I simply traverse. Were you ever born? Did you have a childhood? I do not know. Oh. Have you ever killed someone? Did you have to go through these tests? Are you alive? Are you dead? <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> Please answer all of them in order. <gasps> I shall. I do not know. I do not know. <laughs> I do not know. And I do not know. And you can't tell, but you think that there might be a grin beneath his cowl. <laughs> I like I wanna do, this guy. Can I do, I don't know, can I do a passive check to see if I notice it? I don't know. I'm just saying you all, like, think you may have seen it, but it, uh, you're not certain if you did or didn't. No, 
no, I am not ecstasy. I can hear you muttering back there. <laughs> <laughs> ecstasy goes, why are you saying ooh? <laughs> ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. <laughs> Jingos. <laughs> Be very careful with that. Some spirits might find it offensive. <laughs> Yeah, you just can't, you can't right. just go around saying ooh, ooh around spirits, Jing. Gosh. Sorry, I guess I'm just used to racism. Oh. And and you. you all hear a ooh, ooh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, oh, you uncrutched swine. And as you turn around, they're paddling a very, very small, like little teeny tiny kayak is Bloink Sharp Tooth. Oh boy. Oh, wait, Bamboo Two Stealer? <laughs> Steel Stealer? <laughs> oh, yeah, Two Stealer. Oh, that's like I, I would have I would have thought it was gonna be in one of those swan swan boats. <laughs> you know, the one that you pedal. <laughs> no, he, he even even he cannot get away with touching the water. Hey, Archon. No, but the, not the one. You know the ones. You don't actually touch the water with it's the. It's a paddle boat. Yeah. No, you, you... <laughs> Can you like? Go faster. <laughs> By the way, Bloink, when you guys turn to look again, Bloink is just gone. And as you ask him to go faster, he says, "No, this is this is the only speed." Damn. What happens dude. if? That have sucks. you ever tried going? Have you ever tried going faster? Yeah, you know, put your mind to it and all that bullshit. <laughs> I'm glad there's no return trip. <laughs> that you know of yet. Yeah. For us. There's no return trip for us. <laughs> no, he I continues mean, quietly pulling his way on the river. You know, have you seen our party? Have you seen how many times we fuck people over? Ha have you seen how many times we fuck ourselves over? Yes. Exactly. I have seen you since you were born. That's a creepy. Interesting. I <laughs> I am privy to all of your sins and all of your virtues. Who's your favorite person you have ever ferried across? <laughs> Terry Pratchett. <laughs> Motherfucker! Wait, Terry, wait, Terry, he went to hell? Ter Terry Pratchett went to hell? What the fuck? You no, my brother ferried him sorted, across. Guys. Well, then that's not the favorite person you ferried. Who's the you favorite person to get sorted. you ferried? Yeah, I said, who have you ferried that was your favorite person? An elf named Lahalren. Ah! <laughs> I wish Lahalren was here for this! <laughs> Why was he your favorite? Because he didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> because most people I ferry hold no regrets to the evil deeds they've done. They believe they do it for the the right causes. They believe they were in the right. Or if they do have regrets, it is after things have been done and they have no way of changing them. This elf, however, although his crime is great, he also has redeemed himself and made up for it. Fascinating. He may just end up saving the world he destroyed. From hell? No. He is facing his eternal punishment now. He can do nothing more. It's the things he left behind. Poop and stuff. The kid has his heart. <laughs> JK, wow, you? that's dark. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> oh, by the way, she, uh, the kid has the heart. Oh, jeez. I mean, do you consider it a sin or a virtue that we threw tomatoes at your favorite person? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> and I feel I should explain. By favorite, I simply mean the most interesting. <clears throat> Truly, I don't care about anyone. 
I am simply the one who pilots the boat. Yeah, it is yeah. not my place to judge, no. You'll be dealing with judgment when you reach the gates. Oh, shit. Time doesn't really, uh, you know, work here, right? It does. I mean, how does that work with, in, in respect to other planes? What do you mean? Because, you, you know. You all grow older at a rate of one second per one second. <gasps> I like mm. this guy. Because I was going to ask if you've recently ferried any Vicarians from Meridana. No, but I will be ferrying one soon, I believe. I don't want to talk about it. Bo gets really upset. You know, I know this guy. And he really likes grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> oh! Oh, you didn't mean who I thought you meant. What? Yes. Many you people meant who I thought enjoy. you meant? Many Adula's, people in... Adula's not from Meridana. That is fair. As far as you know, Adula's not from Meridana. But, um, he says many people enjoy grilled cheese sandwiches. Meridana's are, in fact, the best in the multiverse. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, there's just this guy, and he's... He says his name is Tyr. But, you know, we don't really, uh... We don't really Trust believe it. him. Or that. His name might be... Carl. Yeah, it's probably you mean... something like Carl. You mean Tyr, the god of laziness. Yeah. Get that one. He awaits ahead. <gasps> oh. Oh shit, we got a faker for sure. Hey, we're Dylan. about to get we're about to get to the world we've never heard of. Yeah, Dylan, uh, I wanted to ask, like out of character, what was the name of the place that Tyr quote unquote like was on in According to, um... What it's a different place. It's a, it's a different place now. He's he's in a different spot now. Okay. He's Previous. in a better place. Um, do you ask him where he is? Sure. I let him off in Bonohoff. Why? It is the Palace of Pleasure. <laughs> Wait, so you don't... You don't just ferry people to hell, you just ferry them across the plains? I mean, I ferry that is a part of hell, isn't it? Yes. Seven days. Benohoth is... a part of the Infernal Plane, but also outside of it. The new Lord of Hell moved several of his planes. Beergarin, which was originally led by the demon Lord Elfasa before her untimely demise. Is, she is one plane? such plane. Benohoth is led also led by a demon lord, the demon lord of pleasure. It's just a succubus. Relax. No, his no, name's Lonnie no. Vasto. Yeah, we met him. You met him. I did. Lonnie yeah. Vasto. Yeah. Uh, they actually for Lonnie Vasto. He is sorry. They are very gender fluid. No, you, uh, they were in um, the Tiefling session. I only remember Vaclin. Vaclin no. is love. Vaclin is life. Vaclin is best. So, Tyr is dead? No. Oh. He just he wanted to go. He himself. Oh. Wait, he's the god of laziness, and he took the time to go on this journey. It, like it prevents he's... him from having to deal with being alive, so I mean, I think that's like the laziest thing of all. 
And yes. not not just that, the tier we know might be very different from the tier. No, I know, but you know, he's still the god of laziness. <laughs> I mean, in real life, I'm fucking lazy as shit. That doesn't mean that I'm, you know. But you're not the god of laziness. Well, see, the epitome of laziness is just getting someone else to do any work that you have to do for you. Right. So, and... it's not hard to believe he had people carry himself onto this ferry That's and then true. ferried his way down in order to get to a place where he could be even lazier with nobody giving a shit. Not just that, there's plenty of gods that we've met. Say, for instance, the go uh, goddess of trust and betrayal, who definitely doesn't do a whole lot of betrayal. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, okay, I see how it is. So, yeah, you guys uh, have figured out where the real tier is. And if you detour into Benohoth, instead of going straight to hell, you could probably talk with him. But we're not supposed or to get off the boat. Well, the main thing is that we know that he's here, right? So... At least we have some spectrum, and we can maybe get, ask here. Hey, went to Benohuff recently? Anyway, we we can decide that on the next session. The tent mm -hmm. Italian is probably watching us. Is it not? Mm -hmm. Jing looks up at this guy and shouts, "Hey, Krieger!" Yeah, what's up? You're an asshole. <laughs> wow. Wow, hey. rude. Hey, Krieger. Yeah? You're okay in my book. 10% wow, off, off all merchandise for ecstasy for the next 30 seconds. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, I'm not going to buy anything, but thank you, Krieger. I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate what you do, even though you fail over so often. But so Time does everyone. Move, move in the Hendalium. You know, I'll, I'll even you tell you what. I'll extend that to two minutes, and anything you want to buy, I'll drop off for you. Huh. Anything to help me? Arya says uh, wearily. Apparently, flattery gets you everywhere with Krieger. Good to know. Um, hey, Krieger. Yeah. You take my discount, <clears throat> and you get yourself a nice vacation. I, uh, I think I will. You know, we, uh, we conveniently had a couple problems with the scrying portal a couple seconds ago. I think I'm going to uh, look a little bit more into that, and then maybe take a bit of a break, you know? And if it breaks again, it breaks again. <laughs> See, he's not, he's not, he's not bad. Yeah. Not everyone, and not everyone succeeds at everything they do. I know a couple of people here who has and failed. As you're stuff. saying that, there's suddenly a huge feedback squeal in all of your heads at max volume. Except Zerus. <laughs> Except Zerus, yeah. Wait, why not Zerus? Because Zerus he says nothing from the Tantalium works for Zerus. <laughs> what? It's why. Oh yeah, no. There was a whole thing one time where, uh, like, any time that he tries to get glamoured, it doesn't work. So he always has to explain the way the fact in worlds that don't have tieflings what he is. Um, one time he was teleported literally into a crowd of like eighty guards that were all hostile to him, and the party was teleported into the uh, prison that they were trying to like infiltrate. So the party was all like stealthing through, and Zaris set off every single alarm. Uh, Tantalium shit does not work well with Zerus. So Zerus, it's, it's to do with Zerus's, like, heritage. Since he has the right amount of god and demonic heritage, it fucks with ev anything that any gods try to do to him, pretty much. Yep, which, honestly, it causes way more harm than good. <laughs> That's why everyone was worried about Zerus getting dumped into the river. <laughs> um... There's like, times when Zerus has been teleported off of cliff because of Krieger. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you all get this big feedback squeal and then nothing, and uh, it feels like you're not being watched anymore. Archon continues to just pull his way down the river. 
there was this time, guys, when I was marked by a tear. And it was super, super cool. Now it's gone. Yeah, good cream will do that for you. What? <laughs> Gain an inspiration. Yes! I did that with a headache, you guys. I'm so proud of me. We're very proud of you. You should be. Well. Mm. Oh yeah, hey Archon. Hey. Yes. Did you ferry a half orc named Kellogg? No. Mm -hmm. cool. Yes, there's still a chance. I mean, I mean what? That just means that Kellogg might have not had any money on him to pay the toll. Or he went to heaven. Or he I... just stuck into the tanglerium. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, would you... I seriously doubt <laughs> Kellogg went to heaven. Kellogg got killed for you. Kellogg Thunderbar, correct? Yes. Yeah, that guy. My brother ferried him. <laughs> Real? What? That wait, does not wait, make wait, any sense. He went, he went is... down and then he went I'm back. I'm speaking up. out of character right now. Out of character, Kellogg went to heaven because oh. Kellogg. Kellogg was too. Kellogg was being. No regrets. Oh no! Wait, stop! I think I know it. You know how all dogs go to heaven. <laughs> he, was, he was just. A, he was just being a, an animal. It's essentially that, actually. Yeah. Kellogg. Motherfuckers. Kellogg is too stupid to go to hell. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is, that is it. That, that is going to be my. Also, he was killing elves. <laughs> <laughs> but that was an in that was an innocent elf, Dylan. That's okay. So you, are you saying he that didn't succeed we... at killing her though? He yes, had... did. Oh yeah, you yeah, did. He did. What the fuck? Her. Yeah. There's like yeah, a he big took off half her head. head. I don't know. His, Kel his did mother... Kellogg do something really great in his past to give him enough karma to balance that out or not, May? Uh, he was a gladiator, so he entertained people. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> no, Kellogg went to hell. <laughs> Kellogg went to hell. He almost I, I am me wrong. Kellogg, sorry, <laughs> Kellogg, Kellogg went to hell. <laughs> I mean, I know his backstory, but. Sorry, May. <laughs> Maybe. But yes, Kellogg Thunderbar, correct? Yeah. He kept pointing at me and screaming elf. I had to restrain him with the oar. <laughs> I mean, do you got pointy ears? No. Well. <laughs> However, I have flaming eyes. <laughs> what does that have to do with an elf? <laughs> because Kellogg thinks they're evil. I do not know. But I had to bludgeon him about the head several times. What was left of his head? Hey, I Souls thought you said you didn't destroy. To... Uh huh? I thought you said you didn't destroy. I don't. I'm sure I do you bludgeon. destroyed whatever few brain cells he had left. He didn't have a brain to have brain cells with, he was a spirit. Alright. Well, what about his pride? I don't think anything could ever damage that. <laughs> you know, that's fair. Oh yeah, how about this? There's this one guy that we killed. And he In was... fact, I believe that... an Archon pauses for a moment and goes, Never mind, and you guys all feel there might you... be something to this. Were you gonna make a pun? No. Are you sure? Okay, so I definitely... Need to hear it. Do people want to roll some checks to get him to say what he was going to say? Hey, wait, stop. Yes, let me let me try. Aria will go last. Tell us what you wanted to say. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> 25. Kellogg Thunderbar. 
is the only spirit to escape. Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> he made it. He made it into Birgarin. Is that, oh. is that like where elves live or some shit? I swear. No, that that was the that was the um, wasn't it like the barbarian place? Yeah, the barbarian place for people from the north. Oh man. <laughs> so he where it's it's essentially that is their afterlife. It's where it's, it's where they go if, it, yeah, it's it's essentially where they go when they've been good, so they can keep fighting in an icy frozen tundra and being heroes and shit. Siegfried would love it, Earl. So um, this is Arya speaking. So he he managed to get to hell, get to he his his heaven under his own power. He leaped off of the boat, and when I hit him, he ignored it and landed on Burgan. <laughs> <laughs> and with Elfas's death, I couldn't recapture him. <laughs> the last I saw. He ran off into the frozen waste, screaming, Elf! Smash elves! Wow, Rinder, that? that's a very good <laughs> impression there, you got a Kellogg. No, you guys hear that, like, very, very far off, quietly in the distance, because Virgarin is the next is the next place you'll be going through. You guys could stop off there and get Kellogg, in which case, <laughs> you'll get extended. But yes, I will totally allow you guys, if you want to stop off in the next uh, session, at Beergaren to go and get get Kellogg. But he told us not to get off the boat. Shrug, maybe there's another way you could get Kellogg. With a really long rope. Everybody looks at Jane. Maybe we, <laughs> yeah, we, we got an elf over here. Oh, <laughs> Kellogg, we have an elf. We lured him into the boat. It's <laughs> fishing for Kellogg. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Kellogg is gonna jump into the boat, and he's just gonna capsize it. <laughs> so, this is the actual outcome May wanted for this arc, right? No. Uh, by yeah, the way, the uh, we, we are, we are past ending time, and yeah. I, I do, I do wanna... Yep, we're gonna do, uh, favorites and least favorites. The first thing I wanna say, though, is that another thing you guys can always do is pay for the arc where you go get Kellogg and do that at a different time. You get a whole arc devoted to going to Beargarin and getting <laughs> Kellogg. So basically we bypass oh. resurrecting him. You would you'd bypass resurrecting him and it'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs>